What's going on, people? Welcome to a live transfer day special. Joined by T, Patrick, and AJ to discuss the last few hours. No deals confirmed yet, but we're expecting a maybe a busy two to three hours. We'll be getting your thoughts, your questions. We'll be doing everything related to Palace in these last three hours. I'm expecting it to be a busier ones than the ones that we've done before because technically no deals have been announced yet. But um, before we start off with the show, as always, if you do enjoy it, make sure to leave a like, subscribe and comment throughout the show. We'll be reading out your comments. As always, there's also Sean Derry, who has left the club that we'll be talking about as well, uh, which will be quite interesting um, because of the timing. We're talking about um, Amada. Is he joining Palace or not? Lokonga is, is set to be done. There's a mission striker link. So look, the window, there's still a lot to go through. There's still a lot to go through. In these three hours, I'm expecting business as well. Um, let's start off with just a general chat. Let's start with a general chat. AJ, welcome, welcome on to welcome on to the channel. Normally seeing a match reaction today on the transfer deadline day special. How you feeling, bro? Yeah, uh, man. You know what? I'm getting a bit excited, man. I'm happy to be here. Happy to be invited. Um, yeah, man. The, the, you know, it's typical that we've left it to the 31st. Um, but you know what? There's a couple signings out there that kind of excite me. The Congo excites me. Uh, Amadar excites me. Rumour is there's another striker, potentially. The right-back situation's a bit mad, but it can wait till summer if we're being honest with ourselves. Uh, it was sad heard about Derry. I know we're going to talk about that in a minute. But um, nah, man, it's exciting, man. I want to see what we can get over the line before, we're obviously, the deadline and see what we can get. Yeah. You're, you're basically the David Oza of the channel. <laughs> High potential, high potential, <laughs> high potential, making a debut. You're, you're, you're getting put right to the deep end. You're getting put right to the deep end. <laughs> that don looks older than me, mate. That don looks older than me. I've got at least 10 years on him as well. <laughs> yeah, man. That's what you AJ, AJ, don't be racist. Talking about his age is racist. Hey, hey, hey. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. Not yet. We ain't, I, I ain't drank enough yet. No, allow it, allow it. <laughs> Patrick, 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 Patrick. Let me see a smile, man. <laughs> hey, man, Patrick, that was actually decently funny, man. I'm trying. Patrick, to... Patrick's in his game. He's focused. He's focused. He's the one right game now. Game face. <laughs> He's ready. He's ready. He's ready for the business to be complete. But how are you feeling, Patrick? Look, so far, zero confirmed signings. Of course, we expect that to change in the last three hours. That will be here live, as always. Leave a like if you do enjoy the show. Let's get to 3,000 subscribers. We're very close to it. We're about... 30 subscribers or less left to the 3,000 mark. But look, Patrick, for you, window, do you have any expectations going into it? And now lately, you know, we've seen these rumors popping up. It seems like we are going to be doing business. How are you just feeling about the whole January transfer window and how it started, how it's ending? It's been pretty uh, Paddish-like, honestly. I expected us to do nothing until the last day, which is what it's going to come down to. If you come out here with two midfielders, I'll be happy because we need to add to our midfield, which is a, probably our most lacking position. I don't really care about getting another striker because that's not a really issue for me right now. It's more creating the chances and defending better. I mean, you need right back. We're not going to get that. So, I mean, it is what it is. But if we can get Amada and Okonga in, you know, I'll settle for that because it's better than getting nobody in. Yeah, 100%. You know, that's why I feel like um, I, I, I feel similar to Patrick in terms of, I didn't have much expectations going into this window. Look, I was frustrated at the start of the window. Of course, we needed to sign players. It, it was it was a case for me that um, we're going into this window with not having enough signings in the summer, and we had to kind of make up for it. But then, as the window went on, I kind of lost expectations. I, I I truly did. I wouldn't I wouldn't have been surprised. Well, it could still potentially happen, which I very much doubt it. If we ended the window with zero signings, because. When we enter the window, we're talking about low moves. I mean, that's what our chairman basically said, that we're looking for low moves. So, for me, the expectation from the club clearly was in high. So, why would I raise my expectations? So, it was it, I was on that wavelength. And, look, it seemed like we are going to be doing business. Hopefully, we're doing it sooner rather than later. I don't want my heart to be racing at 11, 10.59 when there's no announcements or anything. But, um, but look, there's, there's still a few plays out there. Um, T, for you, some of the names that's getting mentioned. Um, so let's start off with Lokonga. Are you are you a fan of this? Because there's, there's been lots of talks from Arsenal fans saying Bambi Lokonga. They they're kind of disrespecting him. They they're, they're saying that it's good that he's left the club. 
Are you on the same wavelength? I feel like he can add to our midfield. Um, of course, we'll talk about him a bit more when it is announced. Hopefully, it is announced sooner rather than later. But just your general thoughts on the situation with Lokonga. I mean, I don't, I don't have anything bad. About him. I'm actually excited for it. I mean, he he gives us um, some some pure uh, center midfield qualities that we're really lacking. Um, and I mean, didn't people talk bad about Conor Gallagher before he came to us? Yeah, I mean, Patrick made a great point earlier today um, on, on the chat. Gallagher was a part of a relegated team with West Brom before he came to us. You know what I mean? So I think people talked down on, on him before we got him and, you know, how, how he turned out to be. So, I mean, I'm not going to ever, you know, look down on somebody if I didn't even get a chance to contribute here. And, I mean, I haven't really seen enough of him at Arsenal to to make any type of conclusion on him. So, I'm just I'm excited that that uh, there's even the opportunity to bring in a guy like that. So, so yeah. D, let me just yeah. jump in because I have a good friend who's a Arsenal fan. So he said to me that his best performances in the Arsenal shirt have been with Partey next to him. He has the traits of a very good eight who can play deeper in a double fit as a six. So for me, if he can play as an eight, which would be great. He hasn't played that much this year. I think this year he's only played in the cup games for Arsenal. Hasn't played at all in the league. Um, so they haven't really utilised him. But the truth is, when you've got Partey and uh, Jacques, you're not going to play him anyway. So he hasn't really had a chance. They brought him in high expectations. He's a young, but he's very young. He's only 23 years old for Belgium. I mean, for me, there's an upside. The, the issue, obviously, is there's no option to buy. So I'm not going to get excited about him either way. If he does a job for us, great. If he doesn't do great. He won't play most likely, but we're not going to buy him at the end most likely anyway. So for me, if he comes in and helps us collect some points at some point, got no issue with him coming in. So that's fine with me. Yeah, look, how, look, how I see it is, um, he's not a finished product. We got him on loan until the end of the season. For me, I would have preferred that if there was a loan option, there was a loan with an option to buy because look, we've been in this situation a few times now with loan players coming in, performing well, and then going back to the parent club. Um, but look. At Arsenal, you can make the argument that he wasn't playing in his right position. He's not number six. I spoke to Arsenal fans about him um, already. And they're saying that he was kind of playing out position. His most recent game against Man City, his marking wasn't that great. But I feel like he could be a solid box-to-box player. And and sometimes when you move to a club with less expectations, right now Arsenal are booming. They face Man City. They're first in the league. They're, you know, they're, they're going for it. If you come back to a club like Palace, where you got time to reevaluate yourself, you got managing Patrick Vieira, which was a legendary midfielder in himself. I think it could help all parties involved. But for me, the only downside is the option. Of, we don't have an option to buy, which is which is kind of you know kind of bugging me about it. But I think in the short term, if he improves on midfield um, until the summer, and if we get another midfield signing in um, Hamada. You know, I think that would be positive movements. Um, two midfielders instead of one. Um, and we need it. Um, we need it because it's it's just more than one midfielder. If if Luke and Jairo leaves, which is more than likely, and you can also make the argument that they aren't quality depth options right now, we need more than one midfielder. We talk about one midfielder, but we technically need more than one midfielder. And but for you, AJ, let's get your thoughts on this. Um, no signings completed so far, but the signings that are due to be completed, centre mids. Um, I think we spoke about previously as well. Right back, maybe striker, left back. Are you disappointed that maybe we didn't get any other position? I mean, the window ain't shut yet. So we'll see. There's also that mystery striker um, talk that I'll, I'll mention in just a second in terms of where the source is coming from. Uh, but for you, is, is, is two midfielders or one midfielder enough for this window? I don't know, man. It's a sense of like underwhelming and relief. It's it's a little bit of both. Um I'm excited by the look of the young, exciting players we got in because I think um, the Lokonga element, he's great at passing at the ball, but obviously positionally, he's still very raw. He's still very young. Apparently, from what I can see from Arsenal Twitter, it seems that he's obviously needs to develop quite a bit. But ironically, he's got the best manager to potentially get the best out of him. What I'm praying and hoping is obviously he can kind of learn pretty quickly he's got the Premier League experience anyway and he's obviously got the English League experience as well because obviously he's come in for games for Arsenal he's played in high pressure games with Arsenal as well maybe with Vieira on his side he'll do bits Amadar actually is an interesting entity to be fair because from my understanding he was at Juventus's youth setup 
Then he's obviously gone Stuttgart. He hasn't played a ton of games. I think he's only played about seven, eight games there. Um, so, I mean, the, the YouTube highlights can be very, very dangerous and deceiving, to be fair, because obviously you see him dribbling past 18 players, but it looked like it was like their B team. So, I don't know, man. But I think at this point, because of the relief element that we've actually got players through the door and we've actually got a bit of selection and a bit of squad depth with what we've got, that kind of excites me a lot more than actually who the players are. I mean, obviously, if they were like old, beaten down, broken players, I'll be thinking and talking very, very differently. But the fact that we've got potentially two young, exciting players coming through the door, that part excites me. Um, the right back thing, I mean, I've been saying that and singing that one for a while, to be fair. And I was kind of sold on the fact we'd get Boye, but uh, I, I don't know, man. That just seems to have gone dead in the water, to be honest. Um like, it seemed early in the window, that was pretty much as good as done. Um, and then it kind of just faded away. Then we were obviously looking at Spence, allegedly. Then the Spence thing kind of just went a bit left. So it just doesn't look like maybe they can find, or the club can find the value in the market that they're allegedly looking for. Maybe they're going to go big in the summer. I can wait on that, to be fair. I think Klein as the starter and Ward as the potential replacement, as frustrating as those players and the lack of certain traits those players have, I think plugging that centre midfield gap and giving us options and selection makes more sense to me. Um, another striker wasn't really that essential to me, to be fair, because I thought between Edward and Mateo, um, unless Mateo was going to the door, I know he was linked with uh, leaving. But in terms of Mateta and Edward, I think that is enough. And in terms of our attack and selection, depending on what formation the manager is going to play, I wasn't really fussed about a striker for now. Uh, when the Semenyo looked like he was available, I kind of got sucked into that a little bit for a couple of days. Um, but if we're being realistic, I really wanted us to nail down a centre midfielder. It's like a bus. You wait for like one and then all of them are starting to flood through the door at another because at one point, it like we were going to go with and chase uh, he that shall not be named in Conor Gallagher. Um, but that one's well, been dead in the water. Today. There, was, there was talks earlier on today that he could potentially come back to Palace. But as of right now... That is looking very unlikely. The only thing is the Enzo Fernandez still. That's the only maybe hope I have. But then, then again, how long we got? So we got less than three hours left in the window. So it's it's looking a bit tight. But I think Gallagher is is is, is unlikely. But yeah, we could have potentially ended up with three midfielders. But, um, RG. Yeah. Just to go back to AJ's point about Armada and I see T put in the chat. He's actually played seventeen games this season. Got two goals, two assists. But more importantly, I actually watched him play his last match against Stuttgart. Uh, for Against Hoffenheim, sorry. And I like a lot about the kid. He's very energetic. He had a couple of assists in the game. Got a red card for celebrating in the stands. I think he had a second yellow card. But he, honestly, I like the way he plays. He's got a very good... He always just go forward with the ball. He runs a lot. His passing efficiency is very good. He's energetic. I mean, he's not the finished article yet. He's only 20 years old. He's got a lot to learn. But I'm telling you right now, I like the look of that kid a lot. So I really think out of the two, because obviously if we get Armada, he's going to be a permanent. I like the look of that kid a lot. I think he can learn a lot at Palace. And it's an opportunity, like I said, you just said it. We need another midfielder for sure. And I don't see why he can't. If he's not even this season, why next season him and DeCorey can't put together a decent partnership in the middle. So we'll see. Yeah, exactly. And look, even if he doesn't start this season, and, I, and I've right. said this before in the Life Palace News, we need midfielders. Like, even if it's not started this season, even if you can grow into that play in the next few years, and I feel like we got the perfect manager for that in Patrick Vieira. Only 20 years old. He's 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 got something about his game, by the way. He's not just, like, completely not ready. He has played for Stuttgart. He has performed clearly as well. Of course, there's there's flaws to his defensive game. you got Patrick Vieira. That, that should be fixed in, in a few years' time. But... He's good going forward, you know. He, he's got he's got that to his game. So he's got something about his game. So I think in the long run, if he was to join, that would be interesting. But look, I want to quickly mention, just um, not breaking news, but um, in terms of um, latest Palace news and in, in outgoings, Bristol City have reportedly ended negotiations with Crystal Palace for centre-back Jacob Bryan and Portsmouth are now leading the race. So it seems by suggestions that Jacob Bryan could have potentially joined Bristol City. But as of right now... Them negotiations have ended, according to reports, and he could still leave the club by going to Portsmouth. But we'll keep you guys updated as we hear more from that. Um, but yeah, look, O'Brien, we, we spoke about him before as well. If he was to leave, um, I don't think many people will be 
that upset. He needs to get more experience, and I don't think he'll harm him. I don't think he'll play this season. But yeah, Nico Bryan, we'll, we'll see what happens with that. Um, he seems like he's not going Bristol City after all. Okay. So can I just um, ask that so, one then? So, 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 so. can Lukonga mm-hmm. work with Ozo? <laughs> Interesting. I, I don't know if both of them will work together. I don't, I don't know about you guys. I don't, I don't know if, if the Corey, Lokonga, Oza will play together. Um, but um, Patrick, you've watched a bit of the academy. So for you, do you think that partnership could potentially work? No, I think if Lokonga and uh, Armada come in, Oza's done for this season. You won't see him again. You won't see him. There's no way um, he'll play again. If those two come in, they'll pick up whatever playing time doesn't go to Schlupp. Or to Hughes will go to Lakonga and to uh, Armada. So you're not going to see Ozo the rest of the season. Nice to see him for that little five minute or two minute um, thing against uh, Newcastle. But these two come in, there's no way you're going to see him play. So I don't think he's gonna, he can play with them because he's more of a six or eight himself, too. He can play 10, but he's more of a six and eight. And they both play there. So I don't see him playing the rest of the season at all, which is fine. He's only 17 years old. So he's got a lot to learn. It, it's fine. So. so, Patrick, with that then. Yeah. Because obviously he's training with the first team, isn't he? So do you reckon Vieira keeps him around the first team going forward anyway, regardless? He will. He played trained with the first team. He played for the 21s yesterday. They lost 5 nils in Man City. So he played for the 21s anyway, even though he trained with the first team. So I think just from a development standpoint, he'll train with us, the first team, but still play most of his matches with the 21s, which is fine for his development because, he's, again, he's very young. And I think the only way he plays, if, again, is if someone gets injured uh Maybe end of the season, we're, if we're totally safe, like we say, five games to play. You know, we've got some playing time available, but which is very unlike Palace to be that, you know. But that aside, I think we're going to see Ozo the rest of the season. I mean, that's, that's just me personally. Yeah. Look, I, I don't think many people would have been upset if Ozo was to be the midfielder till the end of the season. But I think Lukonga coming in, I, I just don't see how Lukonga, why Lukonga wouldn't play if we're bringing him on loan till the end of the season. We need midfielders. And clearly, Lukonga will be part of their plans. And I think Lukonga, right. unfortunately, might take Ozo's space. But then again, as Patrick mentioned, he's still very young. It's, it's not like the end of the world, even if Ozo doesn't play now. I think for the future, we know that Ozo's got the potential. Ozo's got the potential to potentially be a Premier League starter. But um, in the short term, I mean, with these signings, um, it is, it's, it's looking a bit more difficult for him to be in that first team fold. But um, talking about... Talking about um, Hamada, um, look, it, earlier on today, the Athletic confirmed that it is a signed, it, it's signed off, it's done deal. Um, that was about 13 hours ago. As of now, we've still got no no official confirmation. That's not the worrying thing about me, but I've just been sent a, um, a tweet. I don't know how reliable this is, that the paperwork are not complete. Then again, I'm, I have to re- reiterate, Reliable journalists did say that the deal is done, but there was a tweet about half an hour ago that the paperwork is incomplete. It's a bit more difficult because we're not in the EU. Um, but yeah, we'll keep an eye out for that because yeah, as as people know, that hasn't been announced. Um, so yeah, and I'm talking about Jake O'Brien. I think yeah, it was Jake O'Brien. He's he literally tweeted um, that they won a game and he scored a goal. And they got three points. So I don't know how he's going to join on loan to another team. I don't know how that's going to work. But literally, he just, he just tweeted that. Um, so it's still over in Belgium as of right now. But look, um, let's read through some of your comments um, and answer some of the questions that you guys might have. Luke, says, uh, Hamada can be good for us too, but we might just have to sit them on the bench. I've watched Arsenal before and didn't see Lokonga there, so I don't know. Um, Colin says, there's another option then just slap schlup and who's there's also someone someone tweeted this to me this, um, earlier on today it, it, this doesn't mean oh my days um i'm gonna say that in just a second but this doesn't mean that um that jeff schlup is automatically dropped i think no we know not good enough, we're not good enough no. that even if we get lukonga there's still a chance that jeff schlup can start midfield um due to how much badger we are likes him so so yeah that'll be um that'll be funny but by the way guys um do you know andre are you no, about uh, Jordan. I use Tiny brother. brother. Yeah. Yeah. Guess who's joining? Nah, don't, bro. Low it, low it, low it, low it. Nah, 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 low it, low it. Nah, <laughs> nah. Just guess, guess. It's not Palace, man. It's not Palace. It's not Palace. Oh, guess who he's joining? Is he going back to Swansea? Apparently, they want him back. No, they wanted him back. Everton. Swear oh, wow. down. Oh, yeah. boy. So, yeah. That's, their, I... that's going to be the only signing. Wow. Everything's so, Patrick, I think you're getting your wish, Andre, are you to solve scoring woes? 
Apparently so Patrick, no, AJ, with Lampard no, out I, and uh, Everton down. No, no, I don't have a problem with Everton anymore. I told you, it was just I have a I had a vendetta person. I don't have a problem with Everton as a club anymore. So, I mean, I don't really care about them anymore. I only care about Lampard. So, that's interesting though. Wow, that's an interesting yeah. signing. Wow, that's I don't know, man. Very much. That's desperate. That's desperation. That is. That's that very is desperate. Very, that is desperation as finest. I mean, they clearly have. Is that confirmed? Is that confirmed? <laughs> is that confirmed? Or are you just? It's uh, not confirmed. The independent have come up. Um, and yeah, that's the potential. That's a potential rumor right now for Everton, anyways. But look, end of the day, it could be worse. <laughs> there's, there's always also that perspective. perspective. Yep, yeah, always. Uh, I thought we were going to sign him. I was about to go mental. Yeah, I don't know if I'd rather. I'd probably rather just sign nobody. Um, but yeah, that's just yeah, yeah for real. It's, it's coming out. Um, that Everton looking at Andre, are you? <laughs> Which is yeah, crazy. that one. That, that one. Yeah. So, so let's talk about the um, mystery strike as well. Um, that was the final bit of news. Um, right now, in the last three hours, there's there's a free bit of news and there's questions being asked about that. So earlier on today, around six thirty ish, Alex Crook um, from Talk Sport, he was um, talking about Crystal Palace and he mentioned about the likes of Conor Gallagher and and how it's looking a bit more difficult. But if there was a move, then Conor Gallagher most likely will come to Palace out of all the other teams. But he also said around 6.30 or 6 o'clock that there's a mystery striker. There's a mystery striker that Palace are after. Um, and I, I don't know... I don't know if he said the if he said the following or if it was just me thinking that, but there was there was a report that came out straight after Alex Crook said that about five ten minutes later a report came out from the Daily Mail that Palace are looking for one more loan move, but it depends on whether um, the club that are loaning them out actually sign the player that they want. So if you put two right. and two together, we're after Mr. Tracker. That's what Alex Crook said. And then Daily Mail comes out with an article or with a report saying that Palace are looking at a loan move and that depends on if this club um, brings in a player, then they will release um, they'll release a player to, towards Palace. So, right. I mean, if, if we're talking about strikers in the Premier League, a, a club willing to buy a striker, then loan one out. The one I'm thinking about is Leicester with Ian Nacho. That's the one I'm thinking about. If you if you put two, two, two and two together, if, if them reports... Do you actually link and that loan move would be a striker? I think it makes sense with being natural because Leicester are actually buying it or getting a forward from their parent club. Um, and I don't know if it's actually been confirmed yet. I'm going to actually check it now. But they're, they're looking to get forward from their parent club. And if they do get another forward, then in natural to Palace? I, I, I don't know. Like, I'm trying to figure it out. But then again, it, there was that report earlier on today. Not that long ago, about a few hours ago, that we're still looking to bring in one more lone player. And then Alex Crook, uh, that was from Daily Mail. And then Alex Crook himself said that we're looking after a mystery striker. So I assume that lone player could be a mystery striker um, if it ain't Conor Gallagher. But um, for, you, for you guys, let's talk about the striker situation. Look, we talk about Edward and Mateta, but we haven't replaced Benteke. It's the, that's that's the, one, the one, one area that no one really talks about. I guess Benteke didn't play as much, so it doesn't matter. But... We still need another striker in the long run. But in this window, if it was Antonio, another player that's coming into my head, or Ian Nacho, is it worth doing it until the end of the season? For me, Ian Nacho and Antonio kind of make sense in their own different ways. But for you, um, I'll start off with you, Patrick. What do you think about a striker at this current moment of time? It wouldn't be a priority for me. Like I said, midfield and right back are more of a priority. Um, of those two players, I'm not... Uh, I guess Antonio for me will be better. He's a little bit, he's a little bit quicker. Runs in behind, obviously something a little bit different. Hold up plays not great, so I wouldn't love. That's not great. We need that. But if anybody, yeah, out of the two, I would rather take. I mean, I th honestly think that Inato's in the past been more clinical. But I think right now Antonio, be London boy, you know, knows the area, probably knows a few, a few of our players. You know, Zaha, etc. I mean, I think out of the two, but I don't see why West Ham would let him go now. They've uh, Skamaka is coming off an injury. Ings got injured since so he got there. I mean, they're they you know trying to get into the Europa League. They're in the FA Cup still. I mean, to me, it makes no sense for him to leave. And Moyes said he's not leaving, so I just can't see it. But so Inacho would probably be the most likely of those two. But again, I don't know what he doesn't offer that much different than what we already have. He's not that quick anymore. He's a he's a He's a better finisher than Mateta for sure, no doubt. Um, probably in the same level as Edward. He loves to go in the FA Cup as well. He loves a goal against Palace, you know, yeah. and the FA Cup. Yeah, so I mean, we'll I don't know, we'll see. But 
again, for me, striker is not a priority. It really is midfield and right back. If we get a striker, great. If we don't, it's not a big deal to me. Mission striker, Kyle uh, Lafferty. I, I mean, there's, yeah, yeah, God knows who this mystery striker is and if it was happen. It just got our hopes up in the last few hours for no Michi, reason. Mishi Batsuai for the third time. Yeah, Batsuai, yeah. <laughs> 11, 11, 1101, Paddy Sweet, the Batman symbol. He's back. <laughs> imagine, imagine Batshuayi comes back to Palace. Ah oh, man, he's he's, he's killing me, Turkey. I think um, he's, he won't he won't leave there. He's he's loving life over there. But if we do go back to Batshuayi, then honestly, I'd uh, I'm be- the less I speak, the better it's um, talking about that matter. But um, but yeah, look, let's talk about Sean Derry. Let's talk about Sean Derry um, because I did say at the start of the show that we'll be talking about Sean Derry as well. So Matt Wisdom earlier on today um, and a bit announced that Sean Derry has left the club. It shocked me massively. He seemed like he's left the club with immediate effect. He was a first team coach, of course, and also was a coach at academy level for Palace in previous years. Um, AJ, for you, was you surprised as well about this news? Yeah, um, oh, it's, it's a hard one. Um, because obviously, you know, the status he has with the club that's obviously one thing naturally. Uh, so it's always hard to let go of like club legends and stuff like that. Um, I think it was quite, it's, it's, it seems quite sudden and mistimed. The only thing I can think of is maybe he's got an opportunity out there to maybe go into maybe like a head coaching role. That's the only way I can sort of think of it going. I mean, I've walked past him a few times uh, at Sellers and he's really lovely. He takes photos with fans. He's obviously got a great presence there. And he's obviously loved and appreciated there as well. Um, and obviously seeing him make that transition from doing really, really well with the under 23s and then Vieira bringing him in and keeping on the coaching staff. I just hope that we've got some kind of idea. I really just hope it doesn't affect our coaching setup and maybe obviously disadvantages the club, at least for the short term, you know, because obviously how long does it take to replace a first team coach? You know, this ain't football manager. Um, I don't know, man. Maybe Vieira's got a plan. Maybe he's got somebody else in mind in there. Um, I find it weird. The timing is so weird for me. The fact it's random. It's, it's, random. It's, it's towards the end of January. So the only thing that makes sense why he could have potentially left is if he gets a managerial job or a job that promotes him to a higher level of coaching, like an assistant manager. So we'll see if that happens. But if that doesn't happen, it's, it's kind of weird because on match days, I don't exactly know his exact role, but based on everything that I've seen at the stadium and what he does, it seems like he's more involved with the video analysis like during the game. And he does go up to Vieira a few times in the game, I think, when he spots a few things and lets him know of the situation. So it's, it's just weird the timing that he's leaving now. So unless it's, as I said, it's, it's a job that he gets promoted and he, he, he's, he has more responsibilities, that makes sense. If he doesn't, then... I, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know what could be a reason. Is it fallout? Is it is it... I honestly don't know what other valid explanation there'll be for Sean Derry to leave right now, especially because we've got a game coming up on on Saturday against Manchester United. It's not like we got yeah. a break; like it's, it's just a weird timing. I know we're talking about deadline day, but if you if you move the transfer business out of it, we're literally preparing for a game on Saturday. Um, that's that's our next focus, and it's a Premier League game, and one of our coaches has has just randomly decided to leave. But apparently, um. <laughs> Apparently, Derry, Derry to Everton. I, I don't know if he goes to Everton. Imagine, imagine um, Sean Dash takes him at Everton. But that'd be a bit weird. more money. He'd, he'd probably get more money at Everton, to be fair. So, I, you know, I guess that could be justified. I mean, he he's kind of in that Sean Dyche circle as well, you know, because remember, there was a certain amount of... Uh, Patrick will probably remember this, those Millwall, Charlton, Palace, Old Heads, all... The Hudsons, the Gary Alexanders, the bloody Steve Claridges, and all that kind of BS. So he's in that circle, isn't he? Uh, so Sean Dyche was also a part of that as well. So I can picture it. I think another thing that's dawned on me is Derry kind of has an insight into the club in terms from a coaching perspective as well. So he must play a massive part in terms of embedding these players and making them know what it is to play for a club like Palace. Um so that part is probably one of the larger bits that concern me. His coaching credentials, I don't really, you know, I, I wouldn't even have the first idea how good he is with that. But that's the biggest part about it that reminds me of because he's been embedded with the club for such a long period of time. Are we going to be missing a key bit of influence in there when it comes to the football club? That's what I want to know. I'd like to know what's going, what you know, where what's going to go on with that. 
or do we have somebody else that can kind of take that role? Yeah, yeah, it is, it is, it is kind of weird. The timing is just very weird. Um, but we'll, I guess, we'll find out in a few days' time. Um, if if he was to join a, another club or not, if he doesn't join another club, then I think people will start asking questions and and want answers as to why he did leave. Um, yeah, I, I found I, I, it was a shock. It was a shock. I didn't expect that on the land day. I, I expect the other news, but not Sean Derry leaving the club. Let's just say that. Um, but look, uh, let's talk about let's talk about Maka as well. Let's talk about Maka as well. Maka's back. He's back in the fold. Look, and people are talking coaching role for Maka. I, <laughs> I, that's that, that'll be very harsh. The fact that James McArthur comes back as soon as he comes back, what we just fire Sean Derry. Um, for James McArthur, I mean, I mean, Macca might be a good coach, but if, if he was to do that, then then that would be ridiculous. So, I don't think that's the case. Um, in terms of Macca, in terms of coaching, maybe maybe he does get into it. But James McArthur, people, I don't know about you guys, um, Patrick and AJ and everyone watching, but I feel like there's there's, there's too much expectation being put on him. I mean, I get it. There's going to be them talks about, oh, look, he's like a new signing and 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 all of that. You know, the, all the cliches that you normally hear when a player comes back from injury. He's 36 years old. And can anyone, without looking, let me know the last time Maka's played for us? When's the last time Maka's actually played football for us? Like, anyone know? Beginning of the season, maybe? I, I feel like he was no, there he in, this, maybe he on the bench. Season, no. La- last season he played. Last it was season, last season. Like, it's been God. such a long time out. Now, I understand Mac is back in training, but how long is it going to take him take for him to build up that match fitness? Because he's been out for basically a year. Uh, when he does build that match fitness, he's going to go back to the, being the old Macca. Look, Macca be, could be an option coming off the bench, but in all honesty, as harsh as this might sound, I have no expectations of Macca. I don't, because I don't know what you expect from a 36-year-old that's been coming off an injury and hasn't played football for one year. Like, it will take him a while for him to get back to his full match fitness. So, so look, th- there is there is that talk about it. But for you, um, for you, Patrick, what do you, what do you make of this Maka coming back? I, I get it's, it's very positive in terms of he's finally back and he, he's training. But I reckon it'll take a while. I, I don't think he'll be ready and available for the Man United game. I think it'll take a few weeks or maybe a month or two for him to reach back to his um, normal fitness levels. Well, I looked it up. He played last game. He played was the last game of the season against United when we beat him one 0 He played seven minutes. So he came on as late sub. That was his last game. I didn't like, realize that. Like seven months or more. That's, Eight months. Yeah. So it's been a while. Uh, but the thing is, this is the thing. I know. I, I I was happy to see him at Ferguson back in training when I saw the the video. I watched the video and stuff like that. But I think had we not signed a midfielder this window, it would be more like okay. It's like a new signing, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But honestly, with Lakonga and possibly Amada coming in, I don't think he would be playing anytime soon anyway. So we can just have him come back into the fold. He's more of a mentor at this point anyway. Yeah, he'll probably play him when he's 100 fit. But I'm not worried about Mac Macca's influence on the pitch because right now we won't need him. Now, obviously, if we don't sign anybody, then it will be an issue where we're going to have to basically put him in there as soon as he's ready to go. Not not United, obviously, but in a couple of weeks at some point he'd play if he's fit. So he deserves to play he's one of our better midfielders when he's 100 fit but right now we would nuke if he get those players coming in i'm not worried about maca coming back anytime soon whenever he comes back he comes back because you know he's been out like i said he's been out since may of last year so it's a long time it's like seven eight months already so all right quick breaking news so about that mystery striker that we're talking about or that loan move that i mentioned earlier on today that um daily mail was reporting that player was reportedly Anthony Alanga from Manchester United, and that is coming from Sammy uh, Mockbell from the Daily Mail. However, the player, the friendly loan player, he, he did admit it was Anthony Alanga, but now it looks like he, likely that he's staying at Manchester United. Yeah, he's so not a striker. The player that I was talking about just about right. 20 minutes ago about a potential loan move uh, for Palace, and it depends on whether they bring in a player. That was Anthony Alanga, according to. Um, Sammy Mockbell from the Daily Mail, but it seems like Elanga is staying at Manchester United. So uh, let's get quick reactions on that. If Anthony Elanga was to join Palace, would you guys have been happy about it? Um, nah, who cares? I, I would have a problem with it because he plays that wide. He plays. He's not a striker. He plays that wide. Exactly. wide. So, so he can he can play for so where Wolf, where Wolf is at. Yeah, he so. hasn't really played that, that that many games this season for Man United. Right. So it's interesting why that might not happen. Um, he's only twenty years old. 
Right. So He's it would have been a loan move anyways. It, would, it wouldn't have right. been a permanent one. But only 20 years old. Although, does he not play as a striker for the Sweden team? I know at the under 21s, he was like it their star be, yeah, player, so... weren't he? So maybe, I mean, maybe in his head, it could be like one of them kind of Rashford situations where he's convinced he's a striker, but obviously okay. club-wise and what everyone else sees is, right. is something very, very different, to be fair. Um, I have him, I what I have, he plays left and right wing. Well, I, yeah, I don't know if he's going to be in terms of I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. Then again, yeah, he, you're, you are right. Um, so his main position is left winger, but he's also played right. centre forward and he's played at right, right wing. But yeah, he's a left right. winger. So, I mean, in the short time, it would have made sense. But I don't know how Elanga would have felt when Wilf was back from injury because... <laughs> uh, nah. What, is he going to... Is he go, Was he going to join Listen, for like three or four games? If it's, if it's just money, it's just a loan, it wouldn't have been a terrible move because like I said, he can play out wide. So we could always use extra players out wide. And like I said, if it's just going to be... That's the second loan. I'm not going to use it for anybody. That wouldn't have been the worst move. But I just can't see United, unless Sancho's 100% fit, he just come back right now. Langer doesn't play that much because they got Anthony and they got Rashford playing wide. But if they got injured and Langer's going to play. You know what I mean? So I don't really see why United would give him up. They're all, they're in like, they're in not every cup. They're in the League Cup. They're in the FA Cup. They're in the Europa League. Games, yeah. You know, they got loads of games left, loads of games to play. So it's been an interesting move. But I don't, yeah, I don't see that happening. But. We'll see. I think Lakonga excites me more than Langa, if I'm being yeah, honest. Yeah. For the position as well. Like, if I'm yeah. actually sitting there hand on the heart right now, right. Lakonga and uh, Amada excite me way yeah. more than Langa. I'm not saying he's a terrible player. Do not get me wrong. Because no right. name will come and bang Patrick at Sellers. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> um, he, nah, I, just, I don't really see it. Like, I don't, it doesn't excite me. It doesn't convince me yeah. anything. Do you know what, though? Honestly, I'm not going to lie, though. Thinking about it now, I'd rather, if we can get a loan, I'd rather get a wide player loan than a striker loan. I know everyone can play wide, but honestly, if Wolves can be out for any amount of time and you never know what Elise saying, oh, yeah, I'd love to have a player that can play left and right. That would be ideal as a loan. It really See, would be. See, Elanga there would have made sense because he actually yeah. plays left winger yeah. as well, so he can play it out made a lot left of sense. Side. But then again, yeah. if we do bring in a loan player, which I doubt it at this stage because it seems like right. Elanga's off and that was... Maybe that might be been a mystery player that Alex Crook, Alex Crook right. was talking about. He's not, he's not really a striker, so I understand everyone that's leaving a comment about that, but he might be the player that he's hinting at because um, I don't know who else it would be. But um, if if he was to join, or if anyone was to join to play in the left wing, the problem is when Wilf is back, you're not going to play. So even if Elanga, okay. who's not getting as much game time at Man United, he wouldn't really get that much game time at Palace in all re in reality, unless we put him up front and he's not really a striker. So so it kind of makes but, sense why we didn't go for him. I, but Wilf situation, I just think we have to firm it. We just have to firm yeah. it for until he's back. I mean, I, I don't know what player would like to come to Palace to play for five games and then. And then afterwards, not have that many opportunities. But D, you know, the manager has used Wolf up top quite a bit this season. So there's no reason why he couldn't put him up top and have this new player come and play wide. So my point is you get options that way. You know what I mean? So yeah. um, do you know what? Forget all this new uh, mystery striker sort, man. Go and get Dembele, man. Three million <laughs> euros. Go and get Dembele. I'll start a go fund now. Who, now. I don't get come to the palace, but this this um multi club structure thing is <laughs> This, yeah, you get me, I daddy. Mean, daddy that, takes that, a phone call. You don't like to see it. Be used here. I don't know where he's going. I think he's going to Southampton. Is he going to Southampton? Yeah, I hear Southampton. the issue. So the issue with him is the is the agent. It's not him. There's something. Oh, issue really? about, so he's not leaving today. It's the issue with the agent. Agent fee. Agent fee. Agent causing the issue. So I don't think it's a matter of how much money he has or what club he plays for. It's more of the agent issue. That's what I had read about. So. He's not in bloody yeah. Riola's books, is he? So Dembele, agent. Dembele from, um, from I believe, yeah, from from Celtic. No, no, is an ex Celtic star. I don't know why I say from Celtic. Um, so yeah, Musa Dembele. He was he was rumored to join Everton and I believe Southampton, but it's understood now that he's not leaving. He's not leaving the club. And he's waiting for the summer because um, okay. there's no yeah, guarantee that right? it will be next season. And he wants long-term Premier League football. And right, right, right. Injury. So, yeah. I don't, yeah. Why but then that was another one I was hearing earlier on, Southampton. you know, that um, apparently we might be getting one of the Southampton strikers if they wrapped up Dembele. That's the one that's been circling Twitter. That we might get Adams or Armstrong. There's so many scenarios, exactly. We'll just Adam, Adams, Adam just scored in the League Cup. He's not leaving now. He just scored a goal for Southampton. He's all right, you know. Yeah, and no, I'm saying. No, I agree, but he, he ain't going to leave now. 
You don't leave. Don't move, don't leave to score goals. No way, he even watch his playing anyways. I'm yeah, half, one guy, the one, the one guy score goals. You don't want to, you don't want to get rid of him. You know what I mean? You got to keep that, keep them while they're playing well. So, facts. yeah, facts. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, so. Yeah, we're approaching nine o'clock mark. Still, <laughs> haven't confirmed anyone. I, I'm expecting a bit. Of, I'm expecting a confirmation today. There's no way we end this window without signing anyone, especially after the reports that's come out today. Um, especially with Lokonga. Lokonga should be should be the one. Um, should be the one that's joining joining Palace at least hundred percent. Um, Yo, there's a lot of train strikes today. Or something with there, well, because he's been. It, it was reported by the Athletic that he's he's due to sign. But with this situation, it's gone. It's gone a bit quiet. I, I don't know if it's just an announcement thing, but he was, he was meant to have a medical, and now yeah, it's just it's just gone. It's just gone very quiet. But in terms of um, some questions and some comments, let's go through them. Um, as always, we'll keep you guys updated with the latest news. So as of right now, Jacob Bryan. Um, he was meant to join Bristol City. It seems like that deal was off, but Portsmouth are leading the race to sign the Palace um, youngster out on loan. In terms of incomings, the mystery striker, it seems like, or mystery forward, it seems like it was Anthony Langer, but that is, but he is likely to stay at Manchester United right now. That's according to the Daily Mail. So it seems like that mystery forward striker won't be coming to Palace. And now he's not really a mystery because we know who he is, and it's Anthony Langer. Um, and yeah, and Lukonga should hopefully be signed relatively soon as well. So, um, some comments, 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 comments. Um, Eze is the perfect man to replace Zaha. I don't, I don't know if I agree with that. I think Edward, nah. Edward is probably, I mean, Ebbs playing out wide. I'm not, I'm not really a fan. I'm not really a fan of Ebbs playing out wide. Uh, I mean, we was doing it even when Wilf was, was at the, at the team. <laughs> At least for me, he's out wide, Epps through the middle. Um, he's not really, he's not really a wide player for me. So yeah, um, Zaha up top don't work. Yeah, you can. That's that's a good comment. I mean, it, it hasn't worked so far. I, I, maybe if it, maybe if there's two strikers up top with him, maybe it helps him a bit better. But yeah, he hasn't he hasn't worked so far. Um, Alan says uh, they will leave it till the last minute as usual, and <laughs> with this club. I don't expect any actual announcement till May. <laughs> um, no, I'm telling you, man, it's the train strikes, lads. It's the train, train strikes. Panic. Yeah, I'm. I'm not panicking, but I just yeah, it's kind of it's kind of interesting. It's, we're approaching the nine o'clock, nine o'clock mark, and there's still nothing relatively. Um, there's nothing confirmed. There's no relatively. There's there's nothing confirmed. We've we've heard we've heard from reliable sources that these players will be joining Palace, but in terms of actual official announcements yeah nothing nothing's happened and for me as i said before and i'll say again uh Lukonga, i think he's he's 100 at palace i think hamada should be at palace as well but the hamada one it could be a typical palace moment as well I, uh, it's i don't know i just it's just gone a bit too quiet for my liking um nah yeah. trust the process man they're on their way to soho shoot the thing in steve's office we're nice that's what i keep yeah. talking about train imagine, strikes bro imagine, all sudden, the Uber, first, bro. imagine the first announcement that we see in a whole window, it's going to be Conor Gallagher. Signs of five oh. years deal at Crystal Palace. <laughs> Steve Let Bradshaw it go. Right his, did his masterclass. Five year deal at Crystal Palace. Nah, rip the band aid off, man. Let it go, man. It's, it take it's, it took me a minute. It took me a minute to get over it, man. But you know, I'm over it now. Like, let the man go. Well, well, reports were coming on earlier. Well, earlier this week, AJ, that Rambisaka and Gallagher, we might look to do it again in the. We might look to. We might look at them plays again in the summer. But do. You, let it, let it go, man. Look at my head right. shaking. Look at my head shaking. Look at it. It's not I, happening, bro. Um, Bissak, Wan Bissaka, no, definitely not. He's in scintillating form, and I think Ten Hag is getting the best out of him. I am uh, the Gallagher thing just essentially changes almost every hour. Like um, earlier on today, it was like he's gonna he's rejected Everton. Apparently, he is um, only convinced he wants to stay in London and he only wants Palace because obviously he gets him back in the England setup, but. Apparently, Chelsea weren't convinced about the loan. Then they wanted £45 million. Pounds. Then we had the £45 million. Pounds. Then we didn't have £45 million. Pounds. It changes every day. Like, we don't know what this guy is thinking. Until I see Gallagher wearing the shirt, talking about come on Palace or singing glad all over at Beckenham, I'm not convinced. It's not happening. Let it go. And, and I just don't think... I think wan is just in essentially the form of his life right about now. Why would Man United let him go? Unless they got some outrageous fee, which we're just not going to pay because that's just not who we are. Point. I, I think with Juan Bataka, if they if they get anyone in the, um, in the summer in terms of right back options, then 
potentially, but he's he's on fine form. He's on fine form. So look, look I don't I, I don't know why the Gallagher thing popped up today because basically the report came out saying that Chelsea are not willing to sell to their Premier League rivals with Newcastle. Um, so the the mm. consensus was that if he was to leave, it would be, it would be to Palace because you know that he doesn't want to go to Everton, um, and he also he also couldn't go to Newcastle, so it would have been Palace, but. I mean that's gone quiet. I don't think that's going to happen. I think he's staying at he's staying at um, Chelsea at least at the end of the season, which probably won't be the worst thing for him. And then in the summer we can go again. But that forty to forty five million pound thing, nah, I'm I'm happy. I'm happy with him. We didn't pay that in this window because because yeah, it's it's literally it's it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Um, and funny enough, um, you know how we talk about Batman, but sure, eh? guess who's after him? Everton. Yeah, Everton. <laughs> so, but he's apparently he's happy to stay at Turkish Club and Abachi. Uh, yeah, they're doing ability and good coach. So right, he's playing well. There. You, you know how much of, yeah. of a mud they're in that even guys like Batshuayi and you know other players like Gallagher are rejecting Everton, and the player that they're getting as their replacement, as a player to score their goals, is Andre Ayi. Well, well, apparently he's been offered to Forest and Everton. Mm. Fair enough. Yeah, someone's got to check out that financial fair play that Forest man. They're moving mad, like they're they're doing a madness because they're trying to get Kayla Navas as well. Yeah, Forest, isn't it? Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I think that's, crazy. That's gonna, um, I don't. I don't think that's gonna happen. I don't think that's gonna happen. Well, well, earlier on today it seemed like it wasn't gonna happen. You never know with these deals; it might happen in the last minute. Yeah, that's true. Um, but um, but yeah, Hippy says I think they're waiting on Chelsea transfer. They want that record signing, and yeah, they've said no to Newcastle. See, I think that's the hope that people that still have a bit of hope about Gallagher, I think that's what they're waiting on, really, aren't they? Um, What's that? I mean, Enzo Fernandez. If Enzo Fernandez signs, would Chelsea be willing to let Gallagher go out on loan? You know what I'm surprised about? The fact that Ruben loves the sheep. He's still at Chelsea. I mean, forget about yeah. Gallagher, but I think Ruben loves the sheep. Regardless, I'm, I'm surprised they haven't loaned him out because we were linked with him as well um, earlier on this week. We spoke about him on Palace News. So I'm surprised that we didn't go. I think Ruben off the sheep would have helped us in a way as a number eight. He's physical, he's tall, he can carry the ball. I, I think he would have been a decent fit for us, but I'm surprised that they they actually keep him um, off the sheep. Do you know? What? I feel like he kind of half missed the boat a little bit, you know, because we had him had a great season. Then what? He went back to Chelsea for about what a season, season and a half, and then he went to Fulham, didn't he? And then it yeah. kind of went a bit left there. Obviously. Um, and then he's gone back to Chelsea. He's had his little FA Cup moment. We won't talk about that too much. But um, I think he's kind of left the blood Mr. Bolt on that one, to be fair. Because how old is he? What, 27, 28 now? He's not getting into that I Chelsea team know. anytime soon. Probably not. But I, I just, I think he's Mr. Bolt. And I think we've kind of half Mr. Bolt on that one. Wow. I don't think That's Vieira mad. would bother. That is mad. Loft the cheek is 27. He's basically his prime. <laughs> I thought he was younger. I thought he was like 25, 24. Years have been flying by. When he joined us, he was like 25, 24 then or 23. That's crazy. Yeah, we had him quite young as well, didn't 20, we? 23, yeah. Yeah, that is that is absolutely um that's absolutely crazy. But yeah, with lots of chic, I think it might be his wages. Because I saw other comments like that as well. Maybe it was just, it was his wages that Palace that's the reason why Palace in pursuit because apparently he's on about 150k a week, which is yeah, it'd be, be highest earner at Palace injury prone. Right, yeah. the highest earner at Palace just coming in right away. That wouldn't work. That wouldn't work at all. Exactly. Like, Nobody's coming in earning more than Wolf. Nobody's going to exactly. earn more than Wolf for now. Exactly. No way. Not, yeah. Just wouldn't, yeah. That wouldn't sit right. 27 lost a sheet. That is, yeah, that's crazy. I didn't I didn't expect that. Um, there's there's faults with the trains. I, if, if that's our excuse, why would I sign anyone? <laughs> I told you. <laughs> yeah, there's a fault on the train. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some some place, place, Uber, on the Uber station, maybe cancelled or delayed. Please travel later where possible. Use alternative travel to complete your journey, says Southern. So, yeah, maybe <laughs> maybe that's the reason. That's the reason. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure we're, we're making we're making Lukonga take a train from Arsenal to Alice. Um, nah, all right, hear me out, right? I've got, I've got a scenario, right? It's 12 o'clock tonight, right? It's all going to be black and white. Then you're going to see a couple of red and blue flashes, right? Then you're going to see Wilf, and he's going to have long Lukonga on one side, and he's going to have Armada on the other side of him. And it's going to be like, Wilf signs. Also, oh, Amado. <laughs> the plot uh, trust twist. me. Trust the plot me. twist. I'm, I'm manifesting it, mate. I'm manifesting it. 
That's funny. Five year deal, mate. Trust me, I manifested it in my brain, man. Trust me. That is funny. Imagine. Imagine that. That would be um... the gas. The gas. I think for the rest we'll of be world. upset then about late announcements <laughs> um, if that has happened. But let's be real. The chance of that happening is probably a bigger chance of me becoming an astronaut um, by twelve o'clock than Will signing a contract extension. I, I don't think that's gonna happen. You never know, mate. You never know. Stranger things have happened. Yeah. You never know. You never know. Um, let me uh, let me just double check. Yeah, there's there's still nothing in terms of announcements. In terms of the latest, it's it's as it, to be fair, the Langer situation. We know that Mr. Schreiber now is Anthony Langer, uh, well forward, as I said, and he won't be joining Crystal Palace. But look, let's go through some of the comments. Um, Palace transfer window ninety plus five. Yeah, at least a clutch moment. <laughs> Last second, last second, literally announcements. Uh, Parish is trying to book a restaurant in Soho for the place where they're all booked up. Yeah. In terms of outgoings, let's talk about some outgoings. So, Jacob Bryan, of course, he's been mentioned. If nothing's confirmed yet. Luke Planche, he, he got recalled. Are you surprised that there hasn't been more outgoings um, this window? There's been a few more other youth players that's left. But in terms of Mateta, there was mention of him potentially leaving. He stayed at the club. Would you have been too upset with that? Or do you think there's a case with Mateta leaving in the summer now? It's cause and effect, really. I think um, you don't let Kamata Mateta go without having a certified striker to replace him there and then. I think... Uh, <laughs> I just saw that coming still. <laughs> someone, just, um, someone just retweeted something and, and he got me. And it's literally the... You know the Bachelor announcement of the Batman? Yeah. Yeah, they retweeted. I was about to say, oh, and then... Yeah, oh, it's going to be one of them nights. Um, I think you don't take the risk of letting Mateta go without having somebody certified through the door, to be fair. Yeah. Um, actually, you know what? Who's that? May Maybauer. Do you know what? Uh, funny enough, I was walking through uh, Bromley today and I saw, I, I walked past Nathan Ferguson. I just saw the yeah. looks of a broken man. Yeah, he was up by, um, well, do you know Bromley anyway, but... I saw him in Bromley, to be fair, by where I work, to be fair. Mm. Man looked like a broken man, you know. I, I, boy. Oh, wow. I didn't even bother asking man for a picture. Man. I was like, man, 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 man. Like, he's, he's joined Palace, what, three years ago now? Has it been three years? Okay. Mad. Absolutely and, mad. And he's, he's, I remember him playing, coming off the bench against Tottenham. And then after that, he just... That was it. He was injured. Yeah. yeah. The thing is, but the I have thing a funny is, feeling they're going to give him a new deal, you know. If, if, I think if they're going to give you the deal. When, when, when we're looking at squad depth, there's certain positions that we are very good at now. I think centre back is one of them. You're talking about Joachim Manson. You're talking about Mark Gahey. You're talking about Chris Richards, and potentially Nathan Ferguson can be an option as well. Like there's certain positions that we just don't have to touch. It's it's perfectly fine. But then there's also other areas that we'll talk about. Um, let's talk about it right now. I mean, goalkeeper. Look, Sam Johnson, uh, Jack Butler. Hey D D, can I yeah. stop you for a second? He yeah. said positions. You just named one position. Name another position where we're so deep besides centre half. Uh, right back. That's the only position. Joe Ward. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm just thinking about you. You're making a good point, but I started to say myself. But it's actually only one position that's centre half. The rest of the positions we're weak at. I think maybe yeah. right midfield, possibly. But I wouldn't yeah, I think say right midfield deep. with sorted. I mean, if Elise stays, are we right midfield? If are Elise we? Elise stays and Raksaki comes back. Well, Raksaki is the key, right? Raksaki right. coming really back nice. is the key because he can give you depth there. I agree with that. So. And yeah, a buoy, perfect. obviously. And a buoy is also, he could play there. He's a right. Yeah, he's a yeah, exactly. right. Yeah. But, but he hasn't only... played for Hull yet, has he? He's not played for nah, them yet, has he? Yeah. They've only had one match. He didn't play in the first match. Not yet. No, nah, I didn't because I looked for him, but didn't see him, to be fair. All right. Hmm. Um, okay. Um, we've got potential announcement um, coming as it's a player that we've Basically, I haven't spoke about as much on the show. So that goes by the name of Franco Ume. Yeah, the yeah. Irish kid, Ume? Irish striker. The young yeah, Irish striker. striker. So he, apparently, right. he's in London. Um, the 18 year old um, joins Palace after they paid his release clause of just £75,000. Um, and and yeah, I, I think this is one for the future, anyways. But yeah, yeah five thousand. So hang on, let me get this straight, right? right? Huh? We managed to get a Don to travel all the way from Ireland <laughs> over to London. But my man up in Colony, which he could have, he could have took a twenty minute bike ride on, uh... still is nowhere to be seen. That was what's going on. What is happening? <laughs> well, look, he hasn't been in a picture announced by the club yet, but 
Um, I forgot to mention that. It just popped up now. So, yeah, um, there's there's a youngster that's joining Palace as well. Probably one that will go under the radar if we do sign other players. And if we don't sign other players, it'll still go under the radar because people will be pissed off and won't really talk about him. Um, so, right. either way, it's, it's But that being said, you know, those young Irish players that we bring in, i.e. O'Brien, Phillips, uh, Boma, they're doing all right, you know. Like, all of them no, are right. like, they're all yeah. pretty decent players in their own right, you know. Obviously, first team football, they might be a right. little bit off the scale. But I mean, what Bomber's captaining the under 18s, and I think he's captaining the under 23s a couple of times. Uh, Phillips is doing bits at um, Shrewsbury, and he looked really good in the summer in terms of pre season. And um, O'Brien, obviously, he's gone out uh, and doing bits in Belgium, and obviously, he's been linked with what League One Championship par clubs. Um, although I'm not sure why Daddy Texer would let them lot release him if they're on a title charge to be fair because they're like top of their league aren't they so i don't know well, man the, the irish thing looks like it could work there's value so the there. thing there's is the thing is uh, aj monobique's in first place and o'brien actually plays a lot but going forward they're very good going forward so brian uh plunge wasn't playing that much he scored like i think three or four goals he wasn't yeah. playing as much as o'brien's playing so i think o'brien's state is going to stay because he's playing really well and they need him but plunge they've got a lot of options going forward so that's why they let Plunge come back to England. So we'll see what goes with that. So. <laughs> we'll see. We'll yeah. see. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Look, let's smash a like button. There's only 36 likes, about 170 people here. Let's try to reach 50. Let's try to reach 50. Um, um, let's All right, come on, guys. Give the likes. Let's actually. Oh. Oh. How did you uh -oh. tweet something? No. Wait. Let me have a look. They tweet something of Joe Wood's face in it. Are they taking a piss? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> They're trolling us, man. They're trolling us. Uh... Hey, hold on. I'm just going to... Well, to be fair, let's all watch it together. Um, Let me just share my screen. But, wait, hold up. Let's, let's watch the video. I told you. Wilf in the middle. Lokonga on the left. Joe Ward. Yeah, there must, there's signed, an announcement have happening. He signed, have he signed a new contract? There's an announcement happening. There's a... No. They just, what do you reckon? They're, they're trolling us, yeah. Organizations. Yeah, they're, they're definitely trolling because they got the whole draw pronunciation. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're trolling, yeah. So you yeah, can, they, used you can... with, um, they used to do that with, um, what's his name, isn't it? Czech Coyote, isn't it? Remember that? No, but what they did was, hold remember on, the pronunciation hold on, hold on, hold on. thing? Hold on, they, they, I haven't watched yeah, it. They, they, Wait. They're going to announce something. They, they did a pronunciation video. No, Hamada's announced. Hamada's announced. Here it is. Hamada's yeah. yeah. yeah, announced. Yes, it's finally announced. Oh, I'm thank God. Oh, wait. Well. How do you say it? Wait. How did you... go back? At... Can you put oh. that on the screen? He yeah, let's put, it on the screen. let's put it on the screen. Let's put it on the screen. Let's put it on the screen. All right, go on then. Go on then. Go on then. I'm gassed. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, there's one. Let's put there's this one on the screen. The let's put this on the screen. Let's put this on the screen so we can all get it. That's actually, I like that. Actually. That's a good way to announce it. I like how they did that. That was that was good. That was good. All right. So let's watch the announcement video. It has been announced. Let's see. I'm not going to mention the name. There can you come mention yourself. You guys hear it? Joel. Yes. Joel. Will Hughes. Will Hughes. <laughs> Wilfred Zaha. <laughs> Wilfred Zaha. <laughs> this is good. stupid. That's this is good. so stupid. Yeah, Why do you not do this stuff? Ahmada. <laughs> Ahmada. Ah, Hamada. 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 So, you know, you nailed, no, it. You, you nailed it. No, that's how they used to say it. No, do you nailed yeah, it? Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying, man. I'm it. saying it. I didn't even know. You know, and now it's Hamada. Let's go. Let's All right, go. That's one in. That's one in. Here's the notes. There it is. Finally, we that's got one signing. Midfielder, the 20 year old short cut midfielder, has officially joined Palace. I thought Let's go, baby. Enough, but that's what you get for not watching um for for not watching a video to the end. But look, it has been announced. Let's get reactions um all around. I'll start off with you, AJ. Relief so, from Shudgar. We we talked about him earlier on today. Positive relief, Positive excitement. Um, look, I like the age. I like the talent. Um, it, it excites me. I'll, I can't wait to see him get going. I don't. Do I anticipate him coming into the starting line straight away? Probably not. I think. We'll gradually bring him into the first team. Uh, he looks very skillful. He looks very. He looks like he's a bit of a vicious little so and so when he needs to be as well. Um, I'm excited, man. I look forward to seeing what this kid can do. I don't anticipate him playing week in week out yet. Um, 
But if we gradually bring him into the squad, I think I think what he'll do is I think he'll do it like he did with Elise, <coughs> where the first couple of games kind of sat him out, gradually bring him on for minutes. Um, and then eventually, obviously, first name in a team sheet kind of vibe. Uh, but it excites me, man. It's a young, exciting, talented player. Uh, obviously, there's the French connection there as well. Yeah, man, if we can get a couple more through the door. Yeah, I'm satisfied. I'm a satisfied. Couple. Couple. I'm an ambitious man, Patrick. Right. Got, I love that. We've got less than a couple. I love that. Hours. I love that. I'm that. an I love ambitious that. man. That'll be, that'll be impressive. One I, sign I up for that. every hour. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. One for ten o'clock. And that's by eight fifty nine. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that. Um, but look for Pat Patrick. I, I mean, we we spoke about it as well. It's what I want to say. It's one for the future. AJ. I, I don't know if if I completely agree. I think he's got potential to be an excellent player in the future. But I think he will play a role this season. I truly do believe that because he's still got something about his game. As I said, his, his game needs to be polished. But yeah. the best way to learn is by playing and getting that experience. And, you know, if we're talking about, we have to go there, let's go there. Let's talk about whether Jeffrey Schlupp should start a midfielder. I'll, I'll take Hamad. I mean... I, Jeffrey Schlupp will continue to start for Palace until look, he's, he's the day we die. That's, that's the one downside um, about it from what we've gathered anyways in terms of um, the player profile. But for you, Patrick, finally, signing. We've got it. Two hours left of the window. We, we managed to get our player. Are you happy? I'm very happy. Um, uh, again, since we were linked with him, you and I did the video. D, I started watching him, doing a little research on him, and I thought it was like something that really could happen. I like, I like, I like a lot about him, and I, I'm with. You. I think he'll play quite a bit this season. I think, given the opportunity, he's what we need. He's got his legs in the midfield. It might be a lot of decore in the fact that he's forward thinking. He can press. He's a very good passer. He's not great as far as the assist and shooting, but like I said, he's got legs and he can play different positions. I really like. I like the move a lot. So. Can I just read a couple of comments about him? He, yeah. He's uh, on from the website. Quote, so he said, Patrick Vieira is a big player in France. We have the same position. I spoke with him and I think it is a good way to progress with my career. We spoke about the, this team and about what I can do for the team. The feeling was good. I'm happy to be here. After describe his own game, Ahamada continued, I am a player who loves attacking and I can defend also. Interesting. I'm a boxer box. I love to have the ball and I can run with it. My position is the number eight role, but also I can play as a number six. As a midfielder, my idols were, ready? Yaya Torre and Zizou. Zidane Zidane. Because he's French and unlike me, he was born in Marseille. Seems excited to come here. I, I love what he's saying. I mean, listen, I'm excited. Listen, a signing is a signing, but I'm looking forward to it. I really am. Hold yes. up. Is he even old enough to know who Zidane is? Well, he's only 20, right. so probably not, but I mean, yeah, I know yeah, who Pele yeah. is. I mean, we know Pele, right? I mean, well, yeah, 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 yeah. That's true, you, know, you know the greats, so you know, some or not, you know who the greats are, you know what I mean? So, good it's like, I'm excited. I'm excited. The a few more details yeah, on Amada. So, he'll be wearing the number 29, that's been confirmed. Um, at Palace, so number eight is still open. I wonder who it might be Lokongo that gets the number eight, um, shirt. And in terms of the actual deal in itself, it's a three and a half year deal, I believe. I'm just going to bring it up right now. Um, so, yeah, three and a half year deal. And it's subject to, um, yeah, three and a half year deal, subject to international clearance. Right. But yes, it, is, it has officially been confirmed by the football club. We might get there in the end. <laughs> we need a midfielder all along. We lost it the last, uh, last two hours, but finally announced. Um, Hamada is officially a Crystal Palace player. And we'll be wearing the number 29 shirt. And hopefully, well, I doubt it, but hopefully he's involved at least on the bench this weekend. Um, yeah, be, I agree. Hopefully, yep. Yeah, against Manchester United. Um, if, if you know, worst comes to worst, then, yeah, he can play a great role. But look, we're still expecting more time. It's not over yet. It's not over Let's yet. We're go. still going to be here till 11 o'clock. There's still Lokonga. Let's go. Um, we're going to see what happens with Lokonga. That should be announced relatively soon as well. But I'll take it. Lokonga at 10 p.m. How about that? 9 p.m. And then 11 p.m. Oh, actually, <laughs> have you not seen the link with Sam Field from QPR? No. no. Uh, you know the one that used to be at West Brom? Sort of like... Yeah, yeah, I, know, yeah, yeah. Clickbait. I know what you're talking about. Right. That was... The reason why I'm saying that was a clickbait is if you read about it, it's, it, it was like a... If, if our deals didn't go through, then it would be him. And our Ugh. deals, it seemed like, went through. So it seemed like he ain't... Um, yeah. It seemed like he, he won't be joining. But... Um, 
But yeah, so yeah, I did hear about it earlier on today. Three and a half year deal. That's that's a good amount of time as well. So by the time his contract is over at Palace, it'll be roughly 23. So he's still not in his prime. He's still not in his prime. Jeez. Uh, 23 in three and a half years. Yeah, around 23. I'm getting old, mate. <laughs> I'm getting old, mate. <laughs> in three and a half years. That's a long time as well. That's a long time as well. I don't so... want to say how old I'm going to be in three and a half years. That's mad. Yeah. yeah. Look, smash the like button, people. Smash it, smash it. We've got to sign in. <laughs> now there's no excuse. By the way, guys, D said, if I if we don't get enough likes, then I'm not coming back on the stream ever again. So, <laughs> yeah. no pressure. I... <laughs> no, I was always, it. always welcome back. <laughs> no pressure, no pressure. All he said right. he's going to block um, my number there. I don't know if that's true. How about the option for two year extension? I don't oh wow! That's, I don't know if that's true. Okay. Um, I'll have to search Ooh, out, but, uh, yeah, actually, I heard that in the rumors before we actually bought him. So, very possible. Yeah, I don't see why not. That'd yeah, be smart. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Potential yeah. wise, that'd be a good idea. That'd be very smart. <laughs> that's funny. Um, I want to tackle twenty nine dream over. All right, P. The twenty nine dream is over. The number two dream begins. <laughs> He'll get he'll get number two, mate, when, when Ward goes. Exactly. Um, yeah, get get Salaya if he sings the Hamada chant. What's the Hamada chant? I'll sing it. What's the Hamada chant? Oh, we um, have a chant already. The guy, was the, one on... the guy just signed like 20 minutes ago. We already got his chant for him. No, I saw a couple floating around Twitter last night, but I don't know, boy. I don't know. Nah, some of them now sound know, a little bit. Um, I know Patrick a mentioned about the Hamada talking about Patrick Vieira and the influence there. But if you look at the bigger picture, Vieira is the ideal man for him. He, he is, um, in terms of his development. And and it also shows that people, I know people are upset with Vieira, his tactics, or oh, we should be doing better, this and that. Then again, when you look at our squad, we haven't had a complete squad. I mean, we've been crying for midfielder. We're just signing midfielder right now. We've been playing players out of position. But in terms of um, Vieira, do you, do, you, do you think in the long run, this is a player that, you know, he could develop into... Not Vieira S player, but if he if he gets his defensive game right, he could be number eight in terms of high pressing, scoring goals, getting assists. I think I think all around it suits every part involved because Shudka potentially could get relegated. Um, there's all also right. that, so he could have been playing in the Bundesliga too if he didn't sign him. But it seemed like a it seemed like a gem though. That's what I heard from Ormstein that other clubs were looking at Palace about this deal, thinking you know he managed to they managed to pull off a very good deal around around ten and a half million pounds. Doesn't even cost a lot as well. More photos coming out from the club. If you guys want to see that, do you guys want to see more photos? Sure. Nah, so man, I'm just checking the timeline. So, so D, I, I just think the profile is perfect for us. He's a kid that has played in mul multiple countries. He's young. He's French. He'll fit in with the culture. You know, Edouard, Mateta, Wilf, Olise, all of those guys speak French. Obviously, that, that works. The manager speaks French. And you're right. He plays a similar position as the manager. Um, looks up to the manager. I think it's a great. And again, what we're doing now, we're getting more. I mean, what we we've said this on on the streams millions of times. He needs better. He needs he needs players. The manager needs players. Now he's you know what I mean. He's getting players. They put him next to the core. You put Eze in front of them or Elise. You've got Will for one side. Edward. You know what I mean. Sort out the right back. And if it's if it's Richard's rest of the season, whatever. My point is, got to give him some players, man. Let's, let's build on this year. Get through the season. Finish you know mid table hopefully. And then next season, when we got, you know, players like Tompkins leaving and quite uh, not Guaita now, Milivojevic, Ward most likely, or possibly, Maka possibly, you're opening up four, five, six spots again for next season. You bring in four or five players, you bring in a, a quality right back, a backup left back, a quality striker. Then, you know, and, and unfortunately, someone to replace Wilf. Now, now you're talking, but... You know, we've got to build on what we're doing because I think the windows haven't been great, but they've they've gotten every window's got had a gem in it. You know what I mean? You got Elise and Gahey and Edward and Edward and Anthony in the first window. Then you get um the core and now the core in the next window. And now you've got you know Ahamada in this window. You know what I mean? You are you, building each window. They haven't been spectacular, but the first one was a good window. We haven't done as well since then, but that first window was a good window. We have to keep building on that. Maybe people got you know keep the faith and see what happens, but I just hope we just keep building, man, because I like what we're trying to do, even though we're not spending tons of money. I just like what we're trying to, we're just trying to build this thing, build it and see what happens. You know what I mean? So, Yeah. Um, just quickly, um, it's not really breaking news, but um, it seems like according to Nixon, um, I forgot his first name, is that Alan Nixon? Um, the, the journalist, I'm going to bring it up. 
Um, but Mateta is on Everton's radar. Um, they're yeah, again, you know what? Yeah, I wouldn't. <laughs> we're not, again, we're not, we're not going to get rid of Mateta if we don't bring a replacement in. So you can link him all window. There's no chance we let him go and have yeah, only Edward with then Wolf if, if Langer maybe came in, even then again, yeah, it's not it doesn't, it doesn't make, it doesn't, it just, I mean, they could be talking about it, but to actually let him go makes, it just makes no sense. It just doesn't, man. And, you know, what if Edward was getting injured? Let's just say like, he was injured earlier. Was he, then we have no striker, basically. We basically would have no striker because Wolf's out, Edward will be injured and Mateta will be gone. We, there's no way we can get Mateta, let Mateta go. It, it just doesn't make any sense. I mean, Everton again rejected by everyone left, right, and center. My timeline, yeah, exactly. yeah, my timeline, you know, that's six years. Shuai, Mateta, Andre, are you? Um, Apparently, but, even yeah, Sheffield United striker, yeah, what's his yeah, name, and Dai let's, let's, rejected let's the hear, move. Let's hear from the chat as well. If Mateta was to leave right now, two hours left in a window, and we didn't bring in a replacement, actually, can we do a poll? I could probably do a poll. I'm going to post a poll. Um, let's see how many of you would be happy, upset with that. Would you want that to happen? I'm gonna post a poll in just a second, but yeah, I want I want to see what um what you guys think about the situation because I mean some people don't mind even if you bring in even if you don't bring in a replacement they just don't want Mateta to the club, um which is quite interesting. But yeah, I think it was Alan Nixon that reported it that they're pushing for a late move for Mateta. We'll keep you guys updated with that at this current moment of time. It seems like I'll be very surprised if Mateta was to leave at this window, um because yeah, he should, I mean. It'll be it'll be it'll be crazy to sell him two hours ago, but you never know. You never know, with Palace. Um, but yeah, OT, you're back. I am back. Oh yeah, you are. <laughs> it's a, it's announced. It's announced. It's announced. Saw, announced. Let's get saw, let's get your thoughts on um Hamada, three and a half year deal, twenty year old midfielder. Apparently, there's a I don't know how true this is. Um, I have to check it up, so don't take my word for it, but. Apparently there might be a two year extension clause as well. Yeah, I've been seeing that too. I don't think I think when they were first saying that it was wrapped up, uh, I was seeing that that two year uh, option too. I mean, I think it's a great move, man. Um, I'm 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 excited for the future with him, man, and 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 my hope is that he'll be able to uh, contribute uh, rather quickly. I mean, he's played a significant amount in the in the Bundesliga so far, so hopefully he can come in and and give us a lift. Do you, uh, when do you reckon Patrick Vieira will start playing him? Do you think he's ready to play right now? Do you think he'll take in a bit more? Um, Vieira might take a bit more of a slow approach to bringing him in the first team. I think it all depends on how well he beds himself into the system. I think for Patrick Vieira, it's all about how how much he believes in your understanding of what the team is trying to do on the pitch. Yep. So I think the sooner the sooner that he's able to either display the understanding or, you know, the sooner that uh, Vieira can just feel confident in his understanding of what they're trying to do um, as a team, I think that's the, the, the sooner we'll see him. Um, if I had to guess, I think we'll probably see him off off the bench maybe in our second or third match coming back from, from the break, from the, the FA Cup uh, weekend break. But maybe I don't know. I don't know if we'll see him start at all. I mean, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. Yeah. Look, I posted a poll. If you guys wanna, to let, um, if you guys wanna take part of it, um, the question is: We do want the club to sell Mateta in this window because there's late reports suggesting that Everton are pushing for him. Um, I just want to see what you guys are thinking, anyways, about Mateta. So far, as it's going, there's a very massive no. Uh, only fifteen percent yes, but of course we just posted it now, so I'll look at that in just a bit. Um. And then, yeah, we can, we can discuss that as well. But look, T, one more signing we're expecting. Well, at least in terms of Lokonga, he should be announced as well. And in terms of two midfielders, it, you know, it's, it's not looking too bad. We need midfielders getting two in this window, strengthens in that position. Of course, we know. Look, I think regardless of what happens, even if you do bring in Lokonga, which seems likely, summer's still massive. The summer window's still massive because we've still got players... Like, technically, we have got right-backs. We've got two right-backs there. But when we talk about quality, have we got two capable enough right-backs to push us into the top 10? I don't think so. Left-back, Tyreek Tyre Mitchell, he's playing there. And maybe Adam Roller could be an option, but you could potentially look at left-back as well. Do we need another left-back? I mean, up front, we, do, we need a prolific goal scorer. We haven't had a goal scorer since Ben Teke um, in his first season when he first joined us. Other than that, when is the last time we've had a goal scorer like that in the Premier League for us? So, you know, wide player, wealth replacement. So I think regardless of what happens in this window, the summer's still going to be massive for us. Um, 
And it's going to be interesting to see what happens when the player's contract runs out. But for you, is, is, is it a, a nice step forwards, especially with bringing in two midfielders, one on loan? I guess Lukonga in the long run, I, I, I doubt he stays at Palace, but still, still a bit positive, ain't it, uh, that we're in a midfielder now? Absolutely. I think it's kind of like what we talked about um, on the Palace News uh, show. You know, I think it's important for us to make some steps in this window. You know, he's a permanent, uh, Ahamada is a permanent move. Therefore, that is a, a solid step in the right direction for us. And it also is with the, um, the transfer uh, model that we've shown in past windows. So it's a solid step forward for us. Um, the Lakanga move is uh, a nice uh, filler, so to speak, as far as us having the options that we need in the center of the pitch. Like I was, like I was telling Pat, I was like, I think the reason why you see that type of move for Lakanga with no buy options is because Vieira is sick of the options that he has yep. in the midfield right now. Absolutely. Even yeah. if it's a guy that's only going to be here for six months and doesn't come back, it's better than better. putting Jeff Schlepp out there again. Okay. I've got a um, potential breaking news that I'm going to just say in just a second, which is quite interesting because I was not expecting it in terms of incomings. But before I do, Nick, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Uh, thank you for supporting the channel. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so, <laughs> so let me let me let me go to Big that. Moves. So apparently, Michael Bridge. Which majority of he's reliable, by the way. He's yeah. reliable. I yeah, trust he him. Does ask him to yeah. Him, don't he? Yeah. yeah. Um, so Michael Bridge has apparently said that there's one more after Lokonga. Ooh. Take take it. We'll take it. It's Dembele. Manifest. And you look at the same time, AJ, you know what I mean? That's, that's one actually, more after Lokonga. That's that's believable. Nah, that is spicing things up. I mean, we've been on deadline day before. And we we sat here for three hours. Nothing on a permanent deal. Hey Amen. That's Dougie, what we spoke Dougie. about. That's what, yeah, last year Dougie, that was Dougie, it. Dougie, Dougie fresh. Oh, he that made is, his thing. That is a here we go. Maybe. That is, that, yeah. Hey, we yes, got a here we go. We got a here we go today. I I know y'all saw that. We got a here we go today with with the Congress. Yeah, we go. Yeah, what did he? Yeah, now the Congress. The Congress. The Congress done. Just by announcing this. No, I'm saying he gave us a here we go. Apparently, never get the here we go. He gave it to us. Apparently, Arsenal are are and getting ready to announce departures of Cedric Suarez and the Congress. Yeah, no, the Congress definitely done. I mean, I'm watching AFTV now. It's done. I mean, it's just matter of announcing it. So I honestly think, honestly think, we got the uh the chance to get him long term after after the loan too. I mean, even though we didn't get the buy option, I think we'll still have. A chance at the end of summer, honestly, with the moves he does really well, making. possibly. Yeah, he's not, he's not an Arsenal player, he's he's not. I, mean, I hate to say it because they're playing so well, but he's not an Arsenal player, they're, they're a top six club again. And he's one, of those, title. Things, he he's one of those things, he was a value buy for them. They only they exactly. only, they're hoping that, right? they only, they only got him for like I think 14 million. Yeah, they you know what I'm saying? So, like, yeah. even if we paid for him at what they paid for him to where the, right. there's no that's loss a, for them, be, that be that's a, a yeah. solid buy for us. I can see uh, them because there's there's rumors that they're, they're going to go in. He's a Belgian. He's a Belgian, he's a Belgian, in, he's a Belgian international, isn't he? Correct. Right. Correct. He came yeah, from yeah. Anderlecht. He was at Anderlecht. But D, yeah. there's some value uh, there. He was their captain, the, weren't he, or something? He's pretty just impressive. Finish, just to finish that up though. Um, with Arsenal, I heard they're going they're going in big for a central midfielder next season, like a, a Declan Rice. Yeah. So I'm telling you right now, there's there's no chance that um Lukonga goes back there in place unless he has a. Something a miraculous happens. So he's going to be leaving at some and point. They keep so. adding guys, and they keep exactly. adding guys. Exactly. Well, you know I mean, what? Well, they're 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 added added Jorginho. Jorginho. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, uh, you know, so. you know what I'm worried about. Not worried, but the thing that's annoying is if Lukong, let's say Lukonga, I doubt it, but let's say Lukonga has a Gallagher esque. They can send somebody else at for a lot of money. Now, also else. right now, might 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 have sold Lukonga for 15 million. That 15 million might turn 30 million. So yeah, if you right. have an option to buy at this current moment, then. It, then it would have helped us in a I way. Agree. Like, even if Lokonga was brilliant, then right. it would be easier. But in the long run, I mean, if we do want to sign Lokonga and if he does perform for us, Arsenal will rightly say, no, we want to send him for 30. And they might. And that, that, that kind of makes me is. hope that he plays well, but not too well. <laughs> you know what uh, I'm saying? I, I, hope, I hope he plays like Prime Zidane. I, for, for what I um, think about, but it's going to hurt us. <laughs> break, breaking news. It's not, a, it's not a signing. So apparently, if you listen to that Ahamada interview, he speaks very good English, by the way. Which is which is really interesting. So that's great. So 
Oh, okay. Oh, that was a breaking news. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, sorry. I it too, so, so check this out. He's, I mean, it got to three countries, so you know. He's a know, Mali. He's, he's a Mali. Oh, okay, you need to follow that up to some with something. Yeah, I oh, that, that was, was it. Cool, sorry, like breaking that news. He's very good English, and I thought you go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, T. I like the fact he's a he's a Malayan international. So we got two guys from Mali in our center midfield now. Get out of here, is he? Yeah, I was reading that. Wow. Yeah. Well, it's all fun and games until the app con kicks off. That synergy is great then with the two. Well, then he's kind of young. He won't be, I think he's played for the full team, but that's 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 great, man. I didn't realize it was for Mali. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. Also that, Makes sense. But well, what, what happens when the African nation kicks off and then half our squad's missing again? When is that again? It's coming up. Is it next? Is it this year? Right. Again, right. Right. There is that. There is that. I mean, but they have to qualify though. Mali doesn't normally qualify for the, the Af- actual though. Afcon. Though, uh, lot, the the latest Afcon happened in January again because I think it was due. due it was to delayed. COVID. It was delayed because of COVID. They moved it, didn't they? They moved it. They did move it. Yeah, so it should still be. It should be in the summer, I think, originally. I'm, I'm going to look it up. It's normally it's normally January though, right? So I thought they were moving it because of I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to look it up now. Afcon 2023. Just out of okay. interest, what's that uh, with the local library? Oh, it's a year from it's a year from now. It's 2024, January to February 2024. We got a year. Great. So we, got, we got time. We got time. So, we'll be a massive um, squad by then, so we'll be fine by then. We'll have a massive the latest squad on then, um, Young Fleet Mateta is that Everton are making a move for him. They're desperate for a striker. 50, 50 million. They could have him. The, the <laughs> will, um, will have to pay for Mateta after a loan move was turned out earlier this week. So, 50 million. At Everton were 50. after Mateta last week, yeah. and that's come from Alan Nixon. They tried to get him on loan, which went under the radar. But now, Palace are saying that they will only sell him on a permanent deal. Now, if you're Everton and you're desperate... 30 million. You never know. 30 million. 30 million. But you, but you never know. I mean, yeah, Missouri, Missouri might we're gonna do that. If we're going to do that, we got to get money it. up front. We got to get money. Like, a loan move ain't the ain't, Like, we got to get money up front. If we're going to do that this late, like, if we're not going to be able to bring in a replacement, we got to get some cold, stone, you know, hard. We need cash. Like, we need money if, if we're going to make that move, I think. Like alone ain't gonna I, do I, it. I, I'm I'm with you. It has to be way over the way over the odds to get get rid of him now. Because alone, because alone, they don't. I can imagine the jury paying it. You know, their chairman's a little bit flash with the cash when he wants to be. He, I imagine they pay for Balassi thirty five. Yeah, and they sold uh, Anthony Gordon as well. For yeah, but I, but yeah. yeah. Exactly. I remember hold that over the head because they got forty. We, we know they got money. But, they just sold I remember Gordon for forty five. That's million. the only money they have. They have no other money to spend. They don't have money. Remember, they had some financial issues. That's why Mishiri's under all this pressure. So they have the Gordon money. But let's be honest. You can spend the Gordon money on on Mateta. They, not even Everton's that stupid to do that. They're gonna go out and get some. They can't do that. They just can't. They hide. They hide from Lampard. I'll be honest. I'm gonna say it first. I'm yeah, gonna say it first. If if they <laughs> offered us anything near fifteen to twenty million pound, and you're telling course, us you're that we got them. profit from yeah, the setup, you have to sell I'm doing it. You I'm taking a risk at the end of the season. I'm doing it. it. Yeah. 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 Mateta, Mateta's kind of a a, a dice type of center forward. Yeah. Like, yeah. He is. You'll turn him. You'll turn him into some prime. Like you'll turn him into some prime. Like actually Barnes. Like Chris Wood. Chris Wood. Ashley Barnes. Yeah, like that's, 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 that's a silly. Yeah, that's just yeah, silly. Really. But look, um, I'm just trying to think. Has Everton got any players we want? I'm trying to make the most of this deal, man. <laughs> like, yeah, 20 million plus Pickford or something. Like, just do your madness. So look, they're never going for it. Though. We're still here. We're still to, here to eleven o'clock. If you guys, Demar, do Demar, Demar Gray in a swap button. deal. How about that? And let us know. I was pissed Ooh. off about us not getting Demar Gray a nah. long time ago. I, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't. <laughs> I would, I would, I would, I would, I would, just give us cash, man. Give us Mason, Mason Holgate, maybe? Yeah. Mason Holgate? Nah. No, he doesn't. Nah, really hey, doesn't. Holgate. Oh, no, not Holgate. I'm talking about the other guy from Norwich, the, the one that you like. Oh, you like. oh ben, ben Godfrey. Okay. And where's he going to play? To play where? He plays he, he, he play fullback for them. He started uh, right nah, back. He's, he's more of a centre back. He's more of a centre back. Uh, back game, man. Oh, okay. I mean. We need a right back. Oh, Nana, no, no. straight up. That. Let's do it. Oh, Nana. Oh, my goodness. Imagine that. Oh, Nana. Oh, Nana. Straight up. Oh, Nana for Mateta. I, I would I would. Oh, right my. Now. Mate, if that was the case, I'd get in my car and drive in there myself right now. I don't even have the petrol. I'll do it. You know what? I'll even <laughs> sweeten the deal. I'll even sweeten the deal. Right sweet the deal. You know, it's hard for us to say this and probably hard for us to let this guy go, but y'all could take Jeff Slup, too. Oh, don't do Oh, really? You're going to do yeah. that in there? Okay. You want to sweeten the deal a little bit? He's probably a stone back kind of player as well, you know. 
Just oh, clatter into guys. Take them, take them. You can have clattering them, guys. Why, yeah. mate? That's, tough that's, 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 it's tough for us to lose, lose, but you know, Bro, I don't think Vieira will let that happen. I'll, I'll be honest. Wait, wait. Let me guess. Would you Vieira. give up Jordan Ayew maybe to them? Maybe a little Jordan Ayew, maybe a little Joe Ward. Look, you can have Jordan. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hey, no, I heard, you know what? Hey, I heard his baby turn y'all down. Why don't y'all take Jordan? Maybe y'all can get his brother now. It's you know now that y'all got Jordan, you can get the brother now too. Go ahead, take him too. They can't play in the same team. I've seen them for Ghana. They're awful. That report yeah, not, about Michael Bridge, it is, it's, yeah, it's it's not it's not gone away. It, so it is. He's he said that Lokonga and one more. Yeah. One more. Michael Bele. Bridge. Michael Bridge. I I Alan Nixon. I don't. None of his. I don't remember any of his reports ever coming true. But Michael Bridge Mark knows. My words. Mark my Michael, words. Michael, Michael, Michael Bridge knows people at Palace. He does. He does. He yeah, he does. If, if, if it's Musa Dembele, Dembele, if it's Musa Dembele or Kalechi Iheanacho, I am hyped. T. I have a question. Yeah, T, I have a question. Dembele at Celtic, more. did he play with Edward or he came before Edward? Was he before, before Edward? Edward? Edward replaced him. Replaced him, right? That's what I thought. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay. Yep. And, and what happened um, to the other Dembele? Did you, did you manage to find out um, who the mission striker was? Did you hear about it? Because we did. No, it, oh, it was a. First of all, it wasn't even a striker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alanga. Yeah, yeah. Alanga. He's not yeah. like, first of all, if you don't have an in-product, you're not considered a striker. Product, you're not considered a striker. <laughs> Sorry, you're an attacker. He's an attacker. He's not a striker. Apparently, Elanga turned down Everton as well. First Small move. Hey, Everybody hey, turned hey. out Everton because they're going to be in the championship next year. Everton. Relegation, Everton. relegation <laughs> bounce off everybody. That's yeah, tough. nobody, nobody wants, nobody wants that chance to sign for That's them and tough, then play yeah. in the championship next year. Yeah, that club will get ripped to shreds if they go down because they build. They're literally mid building that that new stadium. That new stadium, like, man. Financially, they'd be in big trouble. Big trouble. <laughs> They'll they disappear. They'll do send it to Austin side. United. They'd have, to that. Be, they'd have to do some good recruiting from now on. They'd actually have to hire real scouts that have to go and get players that, for value and not just throwing money out of guys. But if I was an Everton fan, I'd Everyone's trust that even in the championship. Right you know? that, yeah. It's he can get them out. He got he got Burnley out. I mean, he got relegated in the Premier League and went right back the next season. He can get them out. Yeah, I'll season, trust him. If I was an Everton yeah, fan, I'd trust him. That's exactly yeah, but the Burnley, but it's different though. Burnley had a Burnley had a infrastructure like Burnley was in a mess. They were prepared for it. Whereas Everton, they got players on high wages. They got players that don't want to be there. It's I think it's more messy. I don't think it's a no, and Burnley, Burnley, is, Burnley, but what would happen is a solid a solid scouting network where they're yeah they'd have a fire cell. Right. Right. They went yeah. down. They'd right. have a fire cell and he'd rebuild right. it with. Do it with he goons, would. like he'd refill it with goons from did the you, championship have level. Have you he's seen what, what company did with Burnley? What he's done, he rebuilt that oh. entire squad in one season. And that is, got to like the young guys, too. Do you know what I mean? So it can yeah. be done, it can be done. So you're right, I mean, it, you know, it can be done. He even made some well, guys, he even made some guys a lot better that were on that Burnley team, which is, which is important yeah, to do. Real. That yeah. one midfielder, what's the guy's name? He was uh, shit housing us when we played them last yeah, time. Um, yeah, we, we were actually linked um, with him, I think. We link with him. Yeah, he's uh, young, younger dude. I can't remember his name, but he was shit housing us when we played them. But he was he wasn't Brown, that great. Brown, Brown Hill, Josh Brown Hill, Hill. the yeah, Brown Josh Hill kid. Yeah, yeah. Brown Hill's not bad. Yeah, but but, but, but I, I would say is that company has made him a lot. He's been better. excellent. He might be played played a season so far in the championship. He's been very mm -hmm. good this year. Yeah, although on a, a separate lot of young note, players from Belgium. Do, on a separate note, if we do wrap up a striker, I say we just hire Burnley's social media team to announce it, man. Uh, they're they're announced. Aren't they great? They're, they're, uh, they're, 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 they're the best I've ever seen. Best I've ever seen. They are so yeah, yeah, funny. Yeah, they're, they're cool. Whoever, yeah, they're, whoever's they're, doing their videos must be a real big cinephile. Like bro, to know yeah, all these crazy. movies to go that's to and all about just editing it. It's, it's yeah. about thinking it's, it, bro. It's crazy. Why? Because yeah. you have to edit all the all the like the whole the subtext in. Yeah, you have to be yeah, creative. Right. Like you have. To, how do you even think of something like you get? You have to. You know what I'm saying? They got friggin' Chris Do this. He must watch a lot of TV. He must watch a lot of TV and movies because he they've got something for it. Next level. It's next level. Yeah, next level. The one, um, the Wolf of Wall Street one, I like. Oh. I like that one a lot. I mean, we're Crystal Palace, man. Get Bill Nye to announce Dembele, man, like, and the Zaha contract, bro. Like, we got Hook Eddie Izzard or something. You know what I mean? Change it up. If, a bit, we need to get uh uh Ford, uh Chetumel no Ojafor, and to to do something. Oh, yeah, yeah. One hour before the window shuts. I mean, again? If, if, if we didn't leave it to one hour before the window shuts, we could probably do that because Burnley didn't announce that at 9 p.m. right before the window shuts after signing absolutely nobody. They signed it a few days before you when you got. Can I ask you a question now? 
Remember the Austin Edward when they went all through that trouble to go to the record shop and do I want to, I want to. That was dope. How'd that work that out? That was dope. I actually that was like pretty that good. One. That was the best. Except for the chalk block. In in yeah, in like September, minute. right? September. Yeah, it was yeah. Last yeah. Minute. yeah. It was a last minute signing. So it's. I thought yeah, Ezra was pretty cool. A lot of work for that. I thought Ezra was pretty cool too when when they played on the SE25 thing. I like that one. I like that one. Ezra 25 in it. Yeah, that was clever. We actually forced him to have a number 25 for market. For the market, maybe actually. Because they because they because they knew he was gonna be able to get number 10 because we were gonna get rid of Townsend eventually. Oh, that's yeah, that's now man. Bring back Sacco, mate. That's who we're getting. Bring back Sacco. Wait, wait, which one now? <laughs> Mama do, man. The, great, oh, the, greatest, the, the greatest, the greatest Palace centre back. Yeah, is he going to be? going to replace Sean Derry as a first, a first team coach? Yeah, mate. I'll play. take him. Do you know how much I love play. that? <laughs> love that guy. His style, his presence. Oh, just good times. When we signed him, it was. I felt it just felt different. Yeah, as long as we ain't got to depend on him to be on the pitch, it's all right. <laughs> nah, man. He takes up as we need to. Technically got less than an hour and a half now to the window shots. Of course, we're still waiting on Lokonga to be announced. As of right now, so Michael Bridge did um, later on tweet after that and after that news. Um, two seconds. Uh, Everton made a late loan offer for his family star. But that's, that was rejected. Um, <laughs> they can't get no one. I should laugh, but <laughs> no, dude, Everton, all right. You know when you go with like, the club, all all like, whenever I go on Twitter to look, I'm just seeing Everton just get rejected. I feel bad for them. In a nah, way. Everton, right? Is that oh, club man. where you go out with your boys, does. right? Everyone's got a number, and everyone's secure and something, and then you got your one boy that's just got no game, no riz, just running around trying to collect something, <laughs> and he can't get nowhere. And he's gonna end up yeah. taking an L at the end of the night. Ah, uh, Everton. Okay, it's that so Lampard one, really, man. I just want to say, um, on a Michael Bridge um tweet, so he did say that. Oh, oh no, 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 that's that's Palace just talking about um Hamada for there was a tweet and an announcement, but um, yeah, so Michael Bridge, I think he referred to that one additional sign in that could potentially be Reed, the youngster that's coming in. So, uh, yeah, uh, so we got excited. For no, for no reason. Did we get but, the kick yeah, like, the kids from is, that, is that kid for Cork City coming in? Um, so, yeah, Lokonga plus Reed. Um, but, yeah, we just still went on Lokonga to be announced anyways. But, look, Everton, you got rejected again. Kid from Cork? <laughs> Mitesa for, for 50 million. He's yours. Mitesa for 50 million. <laughs> oh, 100%. Because we only That's pay, just the that's just deposit, 12? by the way. You if you stay up, we want a 10 million pound bonus as well. Yeah, like... They, they're literally getting rejected left, right, um, left, right, center. That's Crystal crazy. Palace sign Lukonga. That was by Daily Mail 15 minutes ago, but of course it hasn't been announced. We've seen uh, Fabrizio Romano also tweet it out. So yeah, we 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 should have we should have signed him. I guess we we'll, I guess we're waiting for the announcement. Really, that's it. Um, hopefully that's sorted. The thing that I was worried about a bit was Hamada. I was like, why is it so quiet? And now that's confirmed. I have no worries about the Congo. I think that will happen as well. You guys see uh, Lucas Mora as well? He was linked with us. That's a weird yeah. thing. I mean, we can't afford him. It's 150000 a week? Yeah. No, another, another guy. 150000 a week? Or what? How would you say what? I mean, he's... 31, 32. I mean, that's the same thing. That's the same thing as us bringing in uh, Ruben Lopez Sheik. It's like he'll come in and literally be the most expensive player on the team, wage wise, right. immediately. Right. It just literally messes up the whole um, the whole squad's dynamic if if that was the if that was to happen. Mm -hmm. But um, in terms of let's see, in terms of like eleven from hundred, can we hear hundred likes? Can we? I think we can. We've got a lot really more. almost two hundred in the in the stream. Wow. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, come on, we can, we can, I'm pretty sure, almost 100, I'm pretty sure, um, we can hit 11 more likes to hit 100 likes as Thunder well. Road, Thunder Road, Thunder Road, Usher in the Of course, we'll have more, way more Palace content coming up um, with the match preview, and we'll see, there might be more news coming on in the next few days, so yeah, so make sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so as well to not miss out on future Palace content. But look, Michael Bridge just also tweeted, um, genuinely knackered, so not teasing. It may well be trying to <laughs> confirm. So trying to confirm if it is the youngster um, that could be. No, nah, violating man. I hate this. Yeah, violating. I, mean, I, I think hate it this. will be. I think it will be Reed. Um, they got the other so, kid yeah. that they talking about. They signed too from uh, Cork City. You mean the lanky one? He looks yeah. like he's about eight foot tall. 
the attack the the attacker uh the, the i think he's a center you, you lied your car i can't remember what his name was i saw it earlier on i saw a picture of him i thought nope <laughs> <laughs> like a black peter crouch i was like nah <laughs> yeah I so in terms of the poll that we've done we posted about 21 minutes ago on the question was would you want the club to sell Mateta in this window so we've got 65 percent no and 35 percent yes so the majority still don't want Mateta sold for me it depends on the price if it's a ridiculous price like 15 20 million pound where we're making a profit on Mateta you just can't say no I'm sorry I, I just don't care uh Lukonga is imminent that's what Alex Howe says. So Lokonga is imminent to be announced. I trust Alex. Alex is Alex. Yeah, Alex on. is, is the yeah, mm. from pilot. So yeah, Cedric. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Arsenal will confirm departures of Cedric Suarez and Sambi Lokonga, both on loan to Fulham and Crystal Palace respectively. So yeah, so we expect the Lokonga to be announced imminent. Look, I'll take it. As I said before, we announce um, Hamada at nine o'clock, Lokonga at ten o'clock. Give me one more at eleven. I'll take it. I'll take oh yeah, it. Man. Man. Nah, Dembele at 11 o'clock. Nah, that, that is coming. Imagine, though. Imagine. That, that's the John Texa move. I'm surprised that we were oh. linked with him. That's that's a weird thing about it because of Texa links. Like, and all this multi club structure surely makes sense. Well, I was watching to um, earlier on, I saw on the timeline Awar was linked with Villa. And I tweeted yeah. about um, yeah, yeah, Villa ruining about French that. players. Yeah, I was, you, I was tweeting about Villa ruining all these French prospective players, man. They ruined them. Like, don't go there, bro. Like, yeah. think about it. Sanson, Barbacar, and Oar. Come on, bro. They ruined all of them. Like, don't do it. And it was I'm sorry for the fans. I don't care. But we, we, we were wanting Babacar. 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 We wanted Babacar so bad. And he just talked bad about uh, who we are and everything. And now look at him. Enjoy your relegation battle, cuz. <laughs> so, yeah. So, exactly. For you. Look, I mean, if Everton have £40 million to spend on Conor Gallagher, then they must have, like, £50 million to spend on Mateta. Um, but, yeah. So, apparently, nah. so uh, I saw this elsewhere as well. I don't know how true it is, but apparently, Hamada deal was delayed until his old team had played to get rid of his red card ban. Yeah. Why would that matter? Because, yeah, that's what I was confused because about. It, it doesn't... It, it doesn't because that band goes that band goes translate. across all it does, it does. all yeah, it does. yeah. Mm -hmm. okay nah man we need to treat man like Ronaldo and like abandon our religious uh our religious beliefs and all sorts you see that when Ronaldo signed for the club he like they like like because obviously in that part of the world you're not allowed to like live with your significant other without like being married and all that they, they changed the law for him yeah they made an exemption wow. for him do you know how crazy that is. No, I don't actually. <laughs> uh, that is Cause mad because you, you're that guy. You're that Crazy. guy. You know what we'll do in the last hour of the show? We'll open up the lines. We'll get you guys the thoughts as well on that done day and palliative business um, so far. So we'll open up the lines in about 20 minutes time where you guys can join and have your say via audio or video as well. But keep sending in your comments. We'll be reading them out right now, in fact. Um, so yeah, that's interesting that Hamada it was delayed to get his red card and banned. Um, um, basically, um, yeah, basically he, he, he served his red card ban. Oh, what? So that's weird though. So if you join Palace before he signed the game, then you still have the red card. Yeah, because I get. I think it's a domestic league. league. It's a domestic league thing. So like, if it, it in your domestic league, if you're carrying that and get transferred, you carry it to that league. Just, I mean, I'm just, I'm, I'm guessing because it's the same way with international stuff. So, let me see. Yes. Um, apparently, there might be an announcement from Arsenal, but I don't know how true that is about Cedric Suarez and Lokonga. But let's see. Uh, mm. I'm number 29. No, I haven't announced it oh. yet. But it's just tweeting more pictures about Hamada. Um, so they, that's still great. they won, by the way. Still got one in the cup today. Is it? 2 1. Yeah, they beat Paddleball. They won and they got a bit of money. That's good. Win-win. Um, yeah, win-win. Exactly. Ben, take you on loan. Imagine. Um, <laughs> He's doing yeah. nothing for them, by the way. Don't even, don't yeah, even I'll laugh. I'll start having an announcement. left. Ben Teckert. Yeah, he's, 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 in, he's in America, man. I can't lie. It's, Apparently, he's doing a bit. Season, bad people talk about Ben Teckert being absolutely he's awful. Done, he, 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 remember, he's done he had that nothing, injury. AJ. He had that injury. He had that boom of penalty as well. Um... Remember when he took Brighton the goal? The Brighton goal? You remember the Brighton goal? Yeah, the Brighton goal. Yep, yep. You forgot the Brighton goal. I'm going to, I'm going to see, I'm going to see Benteke live here in St. Louis. 
uh, <laughs> when they play them in, the, in their inaugural MLS season. So I know, you know what, Brian? You know what, you know, know T. The Brian fan T. watching that right. game. Hang on. T, right? I've, I've just discovered something, right? It's, it's, I think it's you, you know. You're the common denominator, bro. What's that? Hear me out, right? The Lakers link, the Palace link, Lakers. both holding L's. What's going on, bro? Whoa. Lakers. Hold on, man. Wait a minute now. Wait a minute now. Wait a minute now. Wait a minute now. Lakers I've, been a Lakers, a I've, been a Lakers fan. I've been a Lakers fan for a the long Lakers time. Long, when we was getting dubs, all right? When we was getting dubs and when we was getting wins, I was a Lakers fan yeah. then. So we yeah, you, can't, that, you can't compare bro. Lakers to the Dallas. Dallas. I wish you could, yeah. but you can't. And you know what? Man, boy, boy, no, legacy. You see the Lakers legacy is strong. Wait a minute, AJ. When we get our act together, when, when Palace get our, that Lakers together, legacy is strong. I hate to say it. That Lakers when, legacy when, is strong. When, when, when Palace get their act together, I don't want to hear nothing. I don't want to hear nothing. When, All right. when Palace get their act together now. Yeah. We shall see, uh, mate. We I, shall. I, see. I'm here for the, I'm here for the hard times. I'm here for the hard times. I'm a real fan. I'm a real. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes I wake up and choose violence, mate. Is what is. I could have supported. I could have. I could have went out supported. Now, I could have sure. went out supported Man City. I'm not doing it. Oi, oi, oi! That's a red card alone, man. <laughs> but T, yeah, T. I just please don't bring just don't bring the Lakers foolishness to Palace. That's all I. You uh, right, bro? You see, right. D's right thinking it already. He knows. D, he D, no, D's, D's saying that because we kicked the Spurs ass two games in a row uh, last time yeah. we played them. All right. And they 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 they're, they're, oh, no, they're embroiled no, no, in a no, in a two happen. decade rebuild. I never seen a team rebuild for twenty years. <laughs> all right, <laughs> boy. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Yeah, all right then. But you know what? the Lakers are the finished product. But anyways, enough of wait, T. Talk, enough of Interesting how back. how 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 D became a Spurs fan because no one likes the Spurs outside of San Antonio except the fact they won like championships back to back. You know, under the greatest coach probably ever. How about he would never be a Spurs fan? Is that I correct? Know. I think it's no, 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 what? No, 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 no. I'm a loyal Spurs fan. I'm a loyal Spurs fan. Stop it. Stop it. By the way, we're talking about San Antonio Spurs. We're not talking about Tottenham before. No, no. wait a minute. See, that might be why you support them because <laughs> you might be an undercover yeah, a loyal, North, fan, Northern man. London fan, is what it is. Well, if you support if you support San Antonio Spurs, mate, you picked the wrong decade, mate. You're, you're about a decade too late now. But he was young back then when he first came in finance. That thing was young when they were winning. That's the thing. Yeah, that, that is true, right, I'm a little guy, man. No, oh, D, when no, did you first man. become a fan? When did you, honestly, when did you first fan? I can't lie. Do you know how bad this sounds? Roy Hodgson made me become a Spurs fan because I genuinely hate football so much. Oh, wow. Um, that I just had to get into the NBA. Like, it. it. was, it was that it. bad. Wait a minute. Roy Hodgson and San Antonio Spurs linked. When Roy, when Roy Hodgson was <laughs> our manager, the Spurs were terrible still. No, yeah, that's, that's what I'm true. saying. He, they weren't even good. No, they weren't good. No, no, no. We, ha we still had Tony Parker... Um, there y'all still was bad. Kawhi Leonard, you know, when I joined, nah, they were, they were I, done I that the first time when Kawhi Leonard, the season when Kawhi Leonard just basically went ghosted on us. That's that's when, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah I remember year. that. Yeah, that yeah. was a, that was a rough year to become a fan, that right? There. Rough, yeah. yeah, that's the year I joined. So, that's hey, what I'm saying. As soon as I joined, to be honest, to be honest, it could be that 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 Kawhi Leonard this is still doing that. <laughs> He's still doing that. He's still doing that. It could be, it could be, it might be you, you know, you like hardship, bro. Like, you like, you like a fixer upper, clearly. Like, yeah, man. exactly. I could have gone through that. You, you, you might be, look, yeah, Charles Barkley said, Charles Barkley said Spurs fans like fat women. So, I don't know, man. Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm to Tim Duncan, yes. But it's fine, it's fine. AJ, we, we, look, we already know about, um, we already, we already know that the Lakers are finished and that the Clippers are next up anyway, so it's fine. Um, Maxing out those contracts, mate. Maxing out those contracts. This is going to be a small time. This is going to, this is going to be a small team in, in their own town. Um, Clippers are going to overtake them. Don't worry about that. But look, moving back to, moving back to Palace, and let's start off with the goalkeeper, because I actually want to talk about each position. We're talking about centre-back, and you can make the argument that the centre, literally, our centre-back posi position is the only position on the field that we have good enough depth that we genuinely don't have to strengthen. So let's talk about goalkeeper. Um, we've got Vicente Guaita signed a contract extension. Um, we'll, we'll talk about him. And then Jack Butland, he's gone out on loan, and Sam Johnston. So in the goalkeeper position, I'll be honest, I said this when Vicente signed a contract as well. As good as it's been for us, I'd like to see Sam Johnston sooner rather than later. Because Vicente's reached that age now where he's not... After his contract extension, I don't expect him to stay at Palace. And with Johnson, we haven't seen him at Palace enough to make a decision whether he can be first team, first team goalkeeper. So, for me, look, your goalkeeper position, I'd like a younger goalkeeper when Vicente moves on. But, um, but yeah, I, 
I think we're fine. I think we're fine in that area for the short term. Um, but for you guys, we sent a sign a contract extension. It happened in this window, did it? Or did it yeah, a couple of weeks ago, wasn't it? Yeah, it happened a couple, or maybe before this window. Uh, we, I mean, I'll ask you, AJ. Was you was you happy with the extension? I'm 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 pretty alright with that. I think uh, Guaita will essentially um, fade out probably between end of this season slash next season. If I, this is this is just an assumption, by the way, I don't I have no clue. Um, and I happen to know for a fact that he is also aware that he is getting of a certain age as well. Um, which he's actually admitted to be fair via um, work links. Obviously, do you know about that bit? But um, yeah, he's fully aware that he's obviously getting to a certain age. He's probably fading out of that first team picture and obviously he knows he's of a certain age. Um, the so I, I'm pretty comfortable enough to think that Sam Johnson can kind of progress himself to number one officially. Um, and then... I'm looking at Joel Whitworth and even oh, the goalkeeper under him. Is it Goodman? Goodman. I can't remember which one. Yeah. yeah, Owen Goodman, yeah. Owen, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, they, if we can kind of slowly try, don't get me wrong, the, the top goalkeeper comes available in between, obviously subject to whatever happens. You know how football is, things can change overnight. Um, but I think if we kind of slowly transition Sam Johnson and kind of put Vizente over to the sort of cameo appearances and then maybe put some kind of effort into Whitworth because he apparently the club highly rates him. That is pretty much enough for me for now. I still think Vicente Gaita is still a great shot stopper. I still think he's got a top performance in him. I know a lot of people have been kind of digging him out over the past a uh, few months since the international break sort of ended, obviously with the kind of Southampton calamitous game and stuff, but... If we're being brutally honest, he is still a very decent shot stopper, but obviously he can't do it forever. It was kind of like the same thing that happened with uh, Spironi towards the end, where it was eventually kind of just faded out. And then eventually he had his natural, excuse me, successor in Guaita. So um, that position doesn't really worry me too tough. Plus, we don't really know what's going on with Butland either. There is also a slim chance he might come in, come back from United and p have picked up a trick or two. And then he might even ah. push for the number one spot himself. You don't know. I don't think so, man. Well, I, the thing, the thing, I think, I'm I don't think he's a modern goalkeeper. See. I don't think he's a modern goalkeeper. That, that's and that's, that's, that's the thing I'm wondering about: Are any of these guys what PV truly wants in a goalkeeper at the end of the day? Now, like you said, uh, Guaita is a fantastic shot stop. He's not very good with distribution, and having the ball at his feet. Sorry. Is John? Is John? Is Johnston that guy? I don't know. I don't we know have how we talk about goalkeepers. And we've, no, got promise, and we've also uh, got Raymond. Who? <laughs> 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 right, but it's but it's like is 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 Johnston that guy? Is Butler that guy? Is Whitworth that guy? Like, I don't know. It's like do yeah, do, well, goalkeeper with the ball on the field. Yeah, that's why I'm. Is Vieira is Vieira kind of like holding it in his back pocket to try and find the goalkeeper that he wants in terms of the qualities that he's looking for? I don't know. Yeah, uh, no, that's the thing. Let's go get the point. It it makes it harder. It makes it harder to analyze Johnston in terms of his uh, stats like because one. before he joined us, he was at West Brom and they were playing negative football as well. So yep. he didn't really have opportunity to play with the ball on his feet as much. So yeah, look for me. I think the goalkeeper position is is quite interesting. I think even Sam Johnston. So Jack Butland is twenty nine years old, um, and Sam Johnston he's same age is yeah. also he's twenty nine as well. He's mm -hmm. turning thirty. Um, in March, so next month. So look, it's, they're not old for a goalkeeper, but I, would, I, just, I just would have liked a younger goalkeeper. I, I don't know. I, that's that's just been bugging me. I think with Johnston and Butlin, yes, they could they could do a role, but I would have liked a younger goalkeeper. With, you know that we could grow as well. Um, I want all in the fun. I'm with right you. Back, I'm with you. Yeah, the fun. Give me the fun. Is the chosen one. Give me the fun. <laughs> yeah. Although, Apparently, actually, um, no, no worry about that. We'll get Pickford when Everton go down. We'll get Pickford when Everton go down. Cut press. Mm, I don't. Pickford, well, somebody, I don't we'll give, we'll give him Remy Matthews for. A, we'll give him Remy Matthews for a season as well. How old is he? <laughs> He is... Well, Matthews, oh, he's going to go. Pickford will go to Spurs when they get Gary. He'll go bigger. Yeah, Pickford will go bigger. 
No, I shouldn't laugh. I shouldn't laugh, but I, I, I'm, I'm struggling to contain it. Apparently, Everton went for Drew, and they got rejected as well. Oh, who? <laughs> Drew. <laughs> Like, they're just knocking on everyone's doors. They're like, please, please, can you come? They're like, get out, man. Get, like, My phone's gonna start ringing in a minute. Like, you know, yeah, and you know how mad it is. Like, can you deep it? Like, every five minutes, they're literally phoning someone. Like, please, can we? Can you come? Like, he's calling. Wrong, they, they calling everybody. Like, they, they must be able to get somebody out. They they might get Connor Wickham at this rate, man. Seriously. No, uh, Lukaku. Luka- 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 next. Lukaku's next for them. Lukaku won't go back. Everything. Nah, Luka- they can't afford Lukaku. Luka- <laughs> they'll get, get Wickham. Connor Wickham's available. He's got Premier League experience. There you go. Unless, unless Mateta, Low unless ages, changes cool his name with relegation. Company, I didn't know about, but that's that's the only Lukaku they'll, they'll be getting if Mateta changes his name. There's no way Lukaku goes back there. Lukaku, no, he's got a brother. In was, he's got a brother that plays left back. He can play for them. Jordan, isn't it? Jordan right? Jordan Lukaku. Yeah, Jordan. Yeah, he's not bad. Apparently, at left back, allegedly. But yeah. So 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 for goalkeeper, let's. I think we're we're all. Well, not I don't know I don't know how what you guys think, but I'm happy with the situation right now. I don't think we need to train for goalkeeper in the summer, but I think in the long run I would like a new goalkeeper. Let's move on to right back. Um, now, I think we all can agree we we need new right back. We need not let well let's have this let's have this discussion. Do we need one right back or two right backs in the summer? Do you think it's a case of we bring in one right back and they're good enough for first team and then keep Nathaniel Klein or Joel Ward? A second options, or do you think we should just go for a complete reset and and try bringing two right backs in the summer that could compete with each other, unless there's someone in the academy? So my uh, my, uh, to the question, so my do... thought process is, you have to bring a new right back in. Keep either Ward or Klein. Don't keep both. Um, hope that Ferguson is. I say, do you think Ferguson is a fullback? Right, but I, I wouldn't keep him. So he can't be my. He has to be the backup option. He can't be the first option oh, to thanks. me anyway. Thanks. And as far as the uh, academy, there are some really good young ones in the 18s. Really good right backs, fullbacks. There's no one in the 20. There's no one in the 21s right now that's good enough to step up. They moved Katie Rodney back to midfield. He's no longer right back, so he's not playing right back anymore. So honestly, he was probably the best option, but he's been moved. He's much better in midfield, so. For me, you got to bring it right back in here. A young, 21, 22 year old, agile, can play, you know, can get up and down that wing. And then you keep Klein or Ward, preferably Klein over Ward. But Ward's got to test. Yeah. Come next, next year, you're going to keep Ward. You know, he's not going anywhere. So it's going to be Ward. So let Klein go. And then, but, and then pray for, pray for Ferguson. Literally just pray for Nathan Ferguson next year. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Truth be told, I think I 100% Ferguson. agree with that. Um, but yeah, I hundred percent agree with everything Patrick said there. He's pretty much bang on the money there. I couldn't add or debate any of that. To be fair, yeah, I think Nathaniel Klein has a second option to a. I think we reached a point. Not a Sir Samuel, please, like please. No, no, he's, 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 he's a midfielder. midfielder. As a right yeah, midfielder, you know, now not everyone's going to be like Wan Bissaka, end up playing right midfielder and go right back and be that good. But so, so we can do better than that, like. Especially if we're having a whole year, we didn't buy we didn't buy a right back in the summer. We didn't buy a right back in this window, so we've All had right. a whole year. I mean, we I should be able to someone. recruit a decent yeah. right back to get in the summer. I agree. At this point. So yeah. look, I don't think we need a right. Well, I don't think we need a goalkeeper. But Luke says look, goalkeeper doesn't need to address in a new right back depot. I don't think we need a new goalkeeper, but I'd like it as well. I'd just like to yeah. start from the back, like fresh, it, yeah, build each position yeah. like that. So. Yeah. Yeah, but I just doubt it. I just don't see us buying a new goalkeeper. But right back here, one right back with Klein. As centre back, are we happy? I mean, it yeah, depends right. on the back five, but I yeah, think if he keeps the back four as it is, like Chris Richards coming off the bench. Um, oh, yeah, by the way, T, T's, T's talking to JP on the phone. That's what someone said. Um, <laughs> no, they're probably, they're probably, they're probably, it's probably Evan asking them if he can bet front. Essentially, that's, bet the rumor, front. that's the rumor. That's the rumor that T's on the phone. Yeah. Um, Sean Dyche, man. Yeah, he's on the phone to him. What's this about? Yeah, okay, forget about that. But yeah, so centre back, Chris Richards there, Joachim Madison there, Mark Gay there, and Nathan Ferguson. I'm going to count him. I'm still going to count him. Even if you don't count him, at centre back, I think we're sorted. I think that's one position we de- we just don't need at this current. But moment are we right. count- are we actually counting Ferguson as a as a centre back? Because as far as I understand, he is a right back or a left back by trade, right? Nah, he's a centre. Well, he used to play right back. I used to play centre back and left back, so you can play all three positions. You can play all three, um, yeah. That's why because having him fit is really it's been important. Like at Palace, yeah. whenever he mm. has played, it's been that centre back. So I'm counting him more as a centre back than a right back um, at this yes. point. So, so yeah, if Ferguson's a centre back as well, 
Then you got but yeah, you got four. D, you got four as a wild card. I think we're gonna sell out Brian, but Kofi Barmer is a very good player too, by the way. Yeah, Kofi Barmer can definitely play. I would like to see him next season get a chance. If you get rid of let's say Tompkins leaves or whatever, I would love to see Barmer. Barmer can be a fourth center half, or I would have no problem coming in because the kid looks really good in 21. He really is. He's not young. You know, he's one of the older kids that came over, like Killian Phillips. He's a old. I think he's a year older than Killian Phillips, but I'd love to see him get a chance next season in the squad. I've been the the truth. Squad. Just out of Palace, yeah. Enzo Fernandez is done. Uh, for Ramon, Palace? One minute, bro. To Here Palace? To Palace? 105 minutes, we bought, we bought Enzo Fernandez. Nah, you're that's lying, brilliant. you're lying, you're lying. That's, that's what we're waiting for. That's really? what Michael will be talking about. That's a lot of money, that's man. That's what Michael, wow. you're talking about one more of a signing. It's just Enzo Fernandez, 105 minutes. Oh, that's brilliant. What? That's well, let's cool. see. That's now we've got one hour to bring in Conor Gallagher. Um... Wait, 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 wait. Listen, I want to see man holding a shirt. I'm not playing. <laughs> Until I see man wearing the... 20 million pound or 20 million euros. That is crazy. Crazy. What's that now? Bro, the financial fair play is a madness, bro. I swear what was that? Down. What you say? It doesn't exist. <laughs> it doesn't See, exist. What was that now? How much did Fernandez go for? 120, 120 million. Euros, wow, 100. they paid 15 over the over the buyout just to get in. Wow. That's how you know how they're desperate. Like, well, that was because they had to they were saying that they had they, they paid over the uh buy clause because then uh, they could spread they, out the payments. Ben, Benfica would allow right. them to, right. to structure the payments. Here's the, the question. How did it how much they buy him for a year ago? Was it 20 million? No, like 10. Probably something right. less than that. So yeah. 10. Yeah. They made 110 10. million profit in a year. In one year. That's that is the great. best business I've ever heard of in my life. In any in that anything. Is, yeah, any yeah, financial I think that business that I've ever heard. Because okay, let me ask let me ask this trivia question. That's so, ridiculous. Do you know who else before Enzo Fernandez? Because I think Enzo Fernandez broke that record, but do you know the player? That uh, a club has made the most profit on before uh, Enzo Fernandez. It's quite obvious, would... but you don't really think about it. Quite obvious. Um... They play. I, well, I'm not going to say it, but let's see if the chat guesses. Let me just say this: They're playing France right now. They're playing in front. They're playing. Mbappe, oh. Mbappe, 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 nah. Mbappe mm. goes for it. Mbappe has nah. Mbappe hasn't left it. Neymar. Yeah, but remember, you came from yeah, Monaco, Neymar. innit? Yeah, it's Neymar. Neymar. It's when Neymar, it's Neymar. Neymar went from Santos so to uh, Barcelona. That's why he... Yeah, that's yeah, why yeah. They yeah, but, that, yeah, yeah but that deal was all kind of seedy and, and, and there's all kind of... <laughs> they're that's still investigating why. That's now. Why that. seedy. That's why they got CD because of how much money they got, they made off it. Yeah, didn't like his dad get like 50 million out of that? Like, it was crazy. crazy. His agent, what's wrong with that? Right, hey, right. Palace Sweet, Palace Sweet, Palace Sweet, um... At ten o'clock, is, is a gif of people dancing. Oh, no, they're doing so, the they're doing the lagonga or something. The conga, like. the conga. Oh, that's, 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 yeah. yeah. I like I that. The lagonga. What is happening? happening? Look, we're two minutes away from ten o'clock, and we well, get the fact that they use gold. We get one more in the hour, lads. I like that. The lagonga. I like that. We get one more in the hour, lads. Don't worry about it. We get one more. Look, if we if we let's see, it's gonna be lagonga anyways. But we just tweeted about like twenty seconds ago. There's people dancing. I bet they're waiting for 10 o'clock. And then at 10 o'clock, they're going to announce him. But it's basically 10 o'clock now. And then 11 o'clock, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Uh, That's so funny. Hey, do you know the... what? Hey, Matt T, Dockett did you see just... the tweet? Well, T, have you seen the tweet? Yeah, I'm watching it. I'm looking at it right no. now. The the, the, what what the, show is that? Name that show. It's Golden Girls. The yeah, here you go, Girls. man. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, That's man. the one, baby. Hey, man. That's Golden the one Girls. right there, man. Hey, I'm just looking at it now. I don't know what it is. I don't know what that is, by the way. I'm not that old. But um, come I'll take on. Oh, you don't watch TV, lads. Oh, that's the tweet. Do you guys see it on the screen? Do, do, do. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I see it. Yeah, yeah that's that is tweet. so funny. Uh, Golden girl. That's very I love clever. That. Finally, the La Conga. I love it, man. Very that's, clever. That's very good, man. As long as I, like I ain't got that. my man wearing like a, no no kind of skirt and then when he when he then he the video. I'm like, hey. <laughs> hey, listen, listen, T T. In this society, you gotta be careful with that. You gotta be careful right. with that. You right? Hey, I if said man, skirt. If a man wants to wear a skirt, man, I said skirt, not right. kilt. <laughs> <laughs> if a dude wants to wear a skirt and a bra, just let him be. Ignore him, but just let him be. All right? Hey, hey, appreciate him for who he is. <laughs> <laughs> and move. You forward. know, listen, listen. Conga. listen. The Lukonga, Lukonga, Lukonga. So Lukonga, I'm waiting one more minute, and it's gonna be announced. Watch, they're just they're just waiting for that ten o'clock mark. And that's Lukonga. So that's gonna be two signings. In the last two hours, literally, or hour. So oh, I have to ask a question. I gotta ask a question now. If we if we sign nobody else, how's this window? 
T- uh, we'll D. Talk about that right before we end the show, because I want to, but I might not be here, so I'm asking you now. He said if we like, don't, right yeah, he said, now, he said if you we don't think? bring anybody else. Nobody else. Uh, right now, what would you say? Right now, as it is, the window. If we're talking about the window, no, this as a whole, one. Yeah, no, just now, this one, just now. Yeah, I mean, we've got two players in. The Let acquisitions in the window. This, I don't, I don't want to be harsh, but I don't want to be too positive as well because hmm. we know that we need okay. the other positions as well. I mean, we left Only the last right. minute and we're kind of living in the moment. Let's say we sign, okay, look at it like this. Let's say, let's say we sign Lukonga and Hamada <laughs> before the dead land day. Try think about it like that because right now I think emotions will play a part. We're all happy that we're signing players. Um, but think about it like that before you give your answer. Let's say we sign Hamada and Lukonga middle of the window. What would you guys rate this window? It'd be it'd be underwhelming, wouldn't it? Let's be honest. I think we're just excited because we're finally getting them over the line. Um, great point, great point, AJ. Okay. It's the timing of it, right? It's the timing. Yeah, yeah. I, think it's well. I think it's the timing. That's why right now I could say or oh, seven, eight, or whatever. But realistically, we need a right back. We didn't buy it. We didn't. We, we didn't get one. But I guess we signed two midfielders. That's a positive. We didn't expect two midfielders. Um, there we but, go. It's official. Have they released it? It's 10 o'clock now. Yeah, yeah, yeah Sambila Ponga. Yeah. He looks so happy to be here. Bless him. Let's see. He does. Then look at that smile, time. man. Yeah, good for him. That's a grin. Jesus Christ. He could have been nears on that, son. So Sambila Ponga officially joins mm-hmm. Palace. It's being announced. Let's go. So it should be on loan until the end of the season with no option to buy. So that's according to reports, but we'll find out in just in a few minutes' time when more details get announced. But let us know in the comment section uh, what do you guys think about Lukonga. We'll be giving our reactions right away as so, well. So, got, there's a picture of him in Vieira as well. You'd love I've to see quote, it. I've got quotes from Parrish and from Lukonga. You ready? Mm-hmm. What was that? i got quotes oh, from yeah, Parrish and yeah. Lukonga. Are you ready? Yeah. So Parrish... I would like to welcome Sam B to South London and I'm pleased he has chosen to join Patrick's squad for the rest of the season after making an impressive start to life in English football. He has been on our radar for several years, interesting, since his emergence at Anderlecht and we are very, and we very much look forward to having his contributions as we push to climb the table. And Lakonga said, I'm really excited. I can't wait to get started. I'm really happy to join Crystal Palace. I want to go as far as possible with the team I will try to push for, for me and the team to do the maximum to reach the top. So there we go. Positive I'm happy. from both. I'm happy. I'm happy. With I like it. I like so it too. You, want to see the... you know what? I think Parrish's quote makes sense when he says that we've been here. Yeah, we've had him on our radar for several years. It does years make sense. That's, because that's we, probably, we probably were recruiting him at Anderlecht and he decided to go to Arsenal because it's Arsenal. Awesome. Bigger <laughs> chance. Right. Because if you think about what they got him for. I think they got him for like 12 million, something like that. That's a perfect amount for what we would look to to make it a, a purchase with. So it makes sense that they're talking about we've been looking at him for a while because it, it fits it fits the profile. It's just that we we lost out to Arsenal, a bigger club, and getting that's a great that's a great picture. That's a great picture. By a manager. Yeah, that's yeah. a great picture. Yeah, absolutely. Picture. I'm, I'm, oh, two I'm, random I'm, ones. Two random ones. Doherty's signed for Atletico Madrid. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's that's that. crazy. That's it's mad. So that means they got Poro. So they're, so they're riding with Poro and Emerson there. Emerson at right oh, back, yeah. And then uh, apparently Deitch has left Finch Farm. Nah, that's a joke. I, heard, I saw that too. That's just a joke, yeah. Well, apparently it's on Sky Sports. Yeah. Allegedly. Oh, oh, you know, yeah. I got Bridge on. I got Bridge on from... Let me see what Bridge is saying. So, so yeah, look, let's let's react to this. So, for me, I'm, look, I'm happy. Lukonga, he is really excited as well. He said that he can't wait to get started. He's happy to join Crystal Palace. Um, he also said the following, I want to go as far as possible with the team and I want to try to push for me and the team to do the maximum to reach the top. So, for me, he's a young midfielder that was harshly criticised by maybe Arsenal. I think the expectations are Arsenal are high. They're trying to win the league and you got... Kind of threw, uh, got put on a deep end against Man City. You know, Man City still had a very good squad and people were criticising him after that. I feel like he can be a solid number eight. Um, he's just not a number six in terms of giving him that responsibilities. But look, just like Hamada, he's got room for improvement. And that's the type of players that we want. He's young. He fits that category as well. He's uh, How old is Lokonga? I think he's only 23 or 23. 22. 23. 23. Yeah, yeah so yeah. only 23. So he's young, just like Hamada. We signed two midfielders, 123 out on loan. 
and 120 that's permanent deal. And for this one, you'd think, as Patrick mentioned earlier on, you'd think that even if you don't have an option to buy, we might have an opportunity at the end if if he does perform well because of the players that Arsenal are after. It doesn't really seem right. like he has a future there. But he with the option to buy, it would have been a bit better. Right. But look, we needed a midfielder. He's 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 got positives in his game. He's another player that got room for improvement. But we've seen it. You know, I mean, in the, in the short term, Vieira has improved these players, and we haven't really missed in the transfer market. So for me, I'm I'm happy with this still. I think it's a step in a positive uh, is a is a step in a positive direction. We've Absolutely. got two midfielders, both of them young, and we've got good solid options there now. Mm-hmm. Now breaking breaking news. Not Palace related. Huh? Newcastle have made the League Cup final. Mm. Oh, yeah, I just saw that. Yeah. Oh, United Newcastle final, yeah? It looks like Possibly. it, yeah. Imagine, imagine anyway. Newcastle win. That's, that's, sorry, that's sorry, D. Sorry, D. Go oh, back Europe, innit? Yeah. It is. That frees up another that spot. Conference League spot, right? Is that if they win? Yeah, that frees up that frees up another spot in the league. That would, that would, wouldn't it? Because they both yep. make yeah, you're sure right. in Europe. Pushes it down That's a spot. Great point. That's let's a great let's point. talk about so we talked about both players, Hamada and also Lokonga. So our midfield going forward, does it change? Do we go free midfield to your holding? Like, do you think Vieira changes about now? Uh, well, I mean, he's been doing it a little bit to, to, to yeah, be honest. He's going I mean, with two holding midfielders, but do you think he goes back to like the 4 3 3, like number eight, pressing high up now that we got these midfielders? Because we couldn't press high, it wasn't working well, with, the, with the players well, that we had before. We needed more midfielders. I guess, I guess it depends on how he sees, I guess it depends on how he sees those guys. Like, does he see Sambi Lakanga as an eight, or does he see him right. more as, as a six? As but a he's six, not, right. but that's the thing. Chelsea, uh, also, fans say he's not really a six. and. And then you got Hamada, that's not a six as well. So for me, if you're they if you're can both play to... both, they can both play both, though. That's the thing. They can both they can, play yeah, six that's what I'm but if you right. play both, then I think you change the system back from the four, two, three, one, having two holding midfielders to having only one right. in the quarry. And having well, Lukonga. But then we then lose you got Epps there. I mean, it's then we lose the ten. Exactly. We lose the ten in that. Now. Listen, I mean, man, it, maybe, to me, maybe the point of it is you just having versatility, yeah. Exactly. Having options, options, having man. versatility options. to do. I mean, he's talked about having the one and a half the, the versatility. So maybe, maybe that's where you know what the good the interesting thing is that pushes Schlop up the pitch now. He won't play midfield anymore. There's no chance he play. I mean, he'll play Saturday, by the way. He will. He'll start Saturday against United. Imagine, but after that, imagine, imagine, you know, imagine, imagine. He's still, he's still I can't wait for I can't wait for the meltdown. He's going to start against United. I can't wait for the meltdown. It's gonna be funny, but after that. One of those two is going to have to start in there for him, and then you're going to have to push him out wide, hopefully, probably left where Wolf is playing, I guess, or maybe another. I don't know where, but gosh, listen, put him out wide. listen, Patrick, George, George, George needs made to be another pushed, move. He's wide out to the bench. That's where he needs to be pushed. <laughs> he needs to be pushed to the sideline. I'm agreeing with you, AJ. I'm, not I'm just saying, it, you know, he's going to play what? Saturday. You know, do you know what? Who was it? Was it United when he came on as an impact sub and he looked better? It was United. He drew the foul. Remember the foul? That's when him, him and yeah, I. So, that's when him and I. Yeah, I, I think I prefer, but it's not my choice, isn't it? You get me, like you know, what I mean, I can go and cry about it all I want, but hopefully that just, yeah, the the bit of that younger, you know, excited, energetic quality in the middle of the field now will just give us low. And there's two different op- options here. That's the thing, AJ. It's not one three. option. We got he got two options in, so that's that's massive. That's two options, man. That's not one. That's like okay, you've got two options. Both can definitely. They've been playing all season. Well, not not Lukonga as much, but they both fit. So you can put them both in on Saturday. And say you know what, just go out and play. He won't mm-hmm. because it's early days. But you got we've actually. Got I got a question then. So, so do expectations change based on his signings? Yeah, we're going to Europe, lads. We're still going to Europe. No, 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 no. Well, <laughs> AJ, not for me. They don't. Staying up is <laughs> fine for me. Conference mid-table, league, mid-table is fine. Conference not league, me, nothing, still nothing changed for me, but I think I, I think we put ourselves in a better position to push that top ten and, and, and really make our way into it for sure. But so I got a question. What do you reckon? Who do you reckon paid for these deals? Uh let's John Texter. Let's <laughs> I'm gonna throw it out there. Let's let's Harris, it, wasn't Harry, it wasn't Harrison. <laughs> Chris Chris Palace sure. did. Crystal Palace football Harrison club did. or Parish. Yeah. And it wasn't, Harris, and it wasn't Steve Parrish. Parrish. Tell you Steve Parrish didn't pay for it. Tell you that. By, by the way, default, there's one by the way, way, left with the money. If we want to go there, I can bring up the table with our net our net spend. I mean, no, I saw that. One of the least. Yeah, so is, we were bought. Like we spent good money. We signed two players, one on loan and one for ten million pounds. 
Like, it still wasn't... Like, we brought in players, don't get me wrong. Hey, Dave, how many players did Everton bring in? <laughs> Bro, are you comparing <laughs> us to Everton? <laughs> Everton? Everton, yeah, Everton are trying to defend, but they can't. Yeah, no one wants them. Uh, like, I know that. that means that said, could be us. That means that said, could be us. It, 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 so, it could be so, us, but you have to be in the absolute mud for us. So, but it's one thing. So, so it's one thing to to have money and not be able to spend it, and then to not have money and be able to wisely spend it. Yeah, for real. Yeah, but that being said, I was about about this, boys. How about this? Apparently, even though Sean Dyche has left Finch Farm, <laughs> director of football Kevin Fearwell is still inside along with the club's media team. So oh, far, man. Evan haven't been able to bolster their squad ahead of tonight's 11 p.m. deadline. So hold on. Oh, no. They got the like, backdrop, the green screen, the, right. the cameras and everything. And the director of texting right. people. It might... No, yeah. that... That's not no. like that's not like, that's not like hosting a party no, and, and no one it comes to your party. You invite everyone, and you just stay by yourself. You got you got a cameraman there, but no one turns up to your party. Like that's what I'm expecting. What's no, the like, doing, the proper imagine photo booth, no like, you imagine that having a proper photo booth and everything, like and <laughs> like bare photographers and just no one there. That is wild. They need to bring in Andre Ayu or something, man. They gotta give these fans something. They got to. They got to. Man, Dice, Dice doesn't need to stay there because that's it, his job. Ain't he doesn't care about who comes in there. That ain't his job. He he's there to make sure that team doesn't get relegated. He's like, look, whoever come in here, I'm gonna coach him, and we are gonna make sure we stay up. So I'm gonna Maybe go home. So I'm gonna go home and get some rest, and I see y'all tomorrow. <laughs> like they must they must be able to get Troy Deeney or I don't know, man. Like. Gareth McCleary or somebody like that, Troy man. Dini. I, I think Does Troy Dini still play football? Yeah, I think he's at, he's at Birmingham, isn't he? He's still at Birmingham. I'm yeah, so he's sure he's at Birmingham or one of them clubs. Nope. They need he's, to bring in somebody, Birmingham. boy. He's at Birmingham. That's where he is, Birmingham, yeah. Like, what's Sam Volks and Ashley Barnes up to nowadays, man? So, somebody help these guys out. <laughs> Sam Volks. Well, wow. Well, Sean Dash has got the Sean Dash has got the phone um, for both of them. I'm pretty sure. So Ben Me, who's the other one? Tardoski. Oh, he's already got Tardoski. Yeah, he's all right. He's all right. Yeah. He got Dwight McNeil too. I mean, oh. he's got some of his old mates there still, so he can still play yeah. that dice ball. So he's all right. He'll be all right. He'll be all right. I don't know, man. It's it's, it's not looking good. Breath. It's not looking. We've got good. about 45 minutes left to the window shots. Um, that's. Let's see if we're bringing anyone else, but I feel like. Wait, did you see it. the Doherty thing? The Doherty thing. They, 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 they released him, and he went to like they, they didn't let him go on a. He Wait, went what? there. They, they released, they released him. him. Yeah. Oh, we have yeah. mutually agreed to termination of Matt Doherty's contract to enable him to join another club. So they didn't like. The Irish they, international they, joins the club for the rest yeah. of the season. That's what it yeah. says. Yeah, he's, oh. but they, they let him go. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I mean, he's not elite, but he's not. That bad, I would have taken it at Palace. I really I mean, would have. Yeah, Do you know I what? Think, I think so. Man. I don't think it's bad. Right now, I don't want to say for six months, I would have taken it for six months for sure. A right back, that's not a bad shout. You know, he's not the worst. No, he's he's all right. Thing is, he was on the bench, he was on the right. bench, and he, he managed to get an upgrade. Whilst not even starting for like it doesn't make any sense. Like, <laughs> you managed to go Atletico Madrid whilst not playing. He fell, he fell up exactly. He fell up, yeah, really? like, yeah. yeah. But didn't that kind of happen with Trippier as well? In a way, yeah. Well, remember, he couldn't get into yeah. that. He couldn't get into that Tottenham team. Remember, like he kind of fell he off, went, and then and then he went there. But then all this mad stuff Tottenham are doing, right? When Conte yeah. leaves in the summer, like what's going on? But they got they got a fee for for Trippier to go to to Atletico Madrid. Though. But it wasn't a lot. I'm so sure it was like but four I mean, million. It, was, it wasn't a lot. I'm so sure it was like four million. Or something like that. Ties with him. That means that they thought he had no value. Like that's interesting. It's so strange how football works sometimes, man. I'll tell you. Play, here's the game. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, and here's the thing. They, still, they still played him in front of Jed Spence. <laughs> Good point. Uh, is still yeah, still Jed's off. Today. By the way, Jed's Spence off. going over to France as well. So uh, it's Stade yeah. de France, which is Stade de Rems even. I, I don't get it, man. Yeah, that yeah. that that loan makes no sense to me. I have no idea where he went right, there. Should, we, right, should should get, let's, let's try to pick. Let's try to pick. Based on these signings, Let's try to pick our best 11. Let's play this game. Let's all collectively, though. Let's all collectively try to agree on this. Okay. Um, this is going to be violence. I'm going to share I'm going to share the screen. The viewers, you can get involved as well. Let's let's try. Let's try to come to a consensus. By the way, this ain't like we're not doing analysis. We're not saying, well, he has 23% passing accuracy. He has 93. Like we're just we're just having a lighthearted game until the window ends. We signed two players. 
let's see um, if we can base these two signings. Let's see what our start 11s would be. Our ideal start 11, anyways. So, wait, can, you guys see the screen? can I can I can I include Maka and Ferguson as the choices or no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. anyone, anyone. Okay. All right, cool. But then we we have to all agree. So you might oh, okay. There, we have okay, to group the agreement. Okay. All okay. right. So can you guys see the screen? Yes. Yeah. 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 All right, make cool. it bigger. Hold All right, cool. Is that a formation we're going with, yeah? Season. Let's say the window closes right now. We don't bring in any other players. Start off with goalkeeper. White up. Yeah? Yeah. Vicente. Yeah. Let's see what the chat says as well. Everyone happy with Vicente? Patrick, we can flip a coin on it if you want. Nah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm just messing around. I'm messing about. That's fine. Yeah. Everyone happy with Vicente? Let us know in the chat. Would it be, yeah? I think Vicente, everyone be, oh, I'm seeing Johnson's, but um, look, I think Vicente is second half of the season. To finish the season off, I think it makes sense to have Vicente. Saying that, I don't mind seeing Johnston. Um, Whitworth, yeah, I see. This chat's going to be on serious now. Exactly. Uh, Remy Matthews. Joke right, yeah, Joke he might be the next big thing, you know. You don't know. You don't know. I probably shouldn't have included, yeah, should have probably included the chat. You lot take the piss, exactly. Um, so Vicente Quieter, um as the starting goalkeeper. Now, are we staying with 4 3 3? Yeah, why not? Wait a minute, this is our 11. This is our 11. Do we want 4 3 3 or do we 11. want 4 2 3? <laughs> our 11, the chat's 11. 4 2 3. I mean, one. not Patrick Vieira's, basically. No, do you know what? I like 4 2 3 1, actually. Yeah, can we move? He this, might be on the side. I'll go 4 2 3 1. Yeah, go 4 2 3 1. Yeah, move the. Yeah, 7 over 10 in there somewhere. Yeah, so slide. Well, slide. hold on. Navaz to Forest. Apparently, so here we go from Fabrizio. Oh, that's too Dude, bad because I wanted Hennessy to play. Ah, oh, that's too bad. They just yeah, they but haven't they got Dean Henderson in goal as well? Like, what's going he's on? Injured, there? He's, he's injured, though. He's injured. That's why he's injured. Yeah, that's the problem. Uh, yeah. Maybe, yeah. They, just signed, hope, they just signed a guy from, we from Madrid, too. I hope, we don't, I hope, whilst talking about this, I hope, whilst talking about this, we don't miss any signings because that would be so typical of us. Now we're I'm just making a starting this. lineup, and then all of a sudden, Conor Gallagher's back, and we have no clue. Oh, so we keep an eye on it. Um, on signings, just in case. You, know, you had to say his name, name, right? D, you had to say his name, right? You're not gonna let that you're gonna say that every stream, you gotta say kind of got like four times. By the way, there's over 200 people here, so smash a like button, subscribe, leave down the comments as well. Um, smash yeah. a like, otherwise, I'll get locked in a dungeon. Come on, people, help me out. Exactly. <laughs> All right, cool. Like Let's move right back, right back. Oh, Klein, we need to sign a right back, but for me, Nathaniel Klein. It, it makes sense. He can do a bit more going forward. A lot of people put Richards in that well. chat. I know um, a lot of people are going to put Richards in that chat. Watch. Uh, okay, I don't know. Up. I've not we seen him. Can right. Patrick, can, can he play right back? Though? I've seen no, him play no, no, for no, Bayern. I, I, I said before, he played He played it at Hoffenheim and at Bayern, but he prefers to play. So he can definitely play right back, but he prefers to play mm -hmm. center half. But mm -hmm. if you're talking about a theoretical thing, put him at right back over Klein. He's better than Klein at right back. People are saying Richards. A lot of people are saying better than Klein at right back. Yeah, go Richards. people are saying. I'll jump on Richards then. Yeah, why not? No. Yeah, it's theoretical, you know what? so what does it matter, right? I mean, it's our 11, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so no, Richard. No, but still, do you, okay, do you think he Vera can play? Like he can definitely play right back. He definitely I just, can. I just don't know what he'd be, what he'd be like in an overlap and all that kind of stuff, but you know what? Did yes. you see him chase that Anthony down? Over. See how he chased that Anthony and chased down Rashford? Did you see that game? Remember he chased him yeah, down? Yeah, but what I'm, what I'm thinking about is overlap, crossing, he can, passing. He's actually a decent crosser. Third. He's a very good passer. He's a very decent crosser. He's a very, very good passer of the ball. The good thing really is, bad, is but... the good thing about him, he he's 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 two footed. So and that too, yeah. He's that's a well, he can't be much worse game. than what we got. So why not? Yeah. I think look, I think realistically, I know we're talking about Richards now, um, but realistically, when Anderson's back, you you don't drop Richards, and I don't think you go to yeah. back five as well. Because no. we Are you? Back you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna have you're gonna drop Lee Anderson on the bench for Richards. No, I best think play all season. Right. No, he was saying realistically. Right. I, mean, you don't okay, play okay, I got you. I got you. Yeah, yeah. I think you'll do I got you. it based on yeah, based on you. defensive performances. At least he can be sort of defensively. So yeah, yeah, let, you. you know what? Let's stick with Richards because I think that's realistic as well. Like, okay, I don't think he's out of the question because he's been playing really good. And if you don't drop him, put him at right back to the end of the season. And then centre halves, Anderson yeah. Gahey. We all agree on that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. That, that goes about saying. Yeah, Anderson Gahey. Uh, left back, Tyreek. Yep. Yep. No, Jeffrey yeah. Schlupp, please. How dare you? <laughs> Stop. Gyro. 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 All right. Uh, so, Mitchell, I left back. So, look, when you look at our back line, solid. I think we, funny enough, I think our defense improves without even signing a right back because of how good Rich has been. If Rich goes great, right back, it's a great point. 
And you have Gay yeah. Anderson there. I still think we improve defensively. I'm not saying Richards is, is the answer in the long run. But when you look at that back line, if we don't have there, a glaring, we don't have a glaring be, weakness. And Gay Anderson, we, we already know about that. Spot. Like, I, look, I think we improve. I think yeah. we improve even without signing right back if if we um if we do rotate it about. So yeah, look, I mean that back four not too bad. Now you guys say two holding midfielders. So who's mm-hmm. the two holding midfielders that we'll go for? We signed two midfielders, of course. Well, we know the Corey. So I'm in the Corey. Put, I'd go. Put I'd actually go to Corey and Lukonga. You know. Yeah, I'm going to look right, the Lukonga. Lukonga. got experience in the Premier League. I'd go. I'd go Lukonga too right now. Yeah. Just I think he'd keep it start, simple with the passing, and that's yeah. something we don't seem to be able to achieve. Or something. Is Lukonga holding midfielder though? No, but it is. He's able to distribute and win, the, get the ball and distribute. You see what I'm saying? Like, who's doing that in the in the middle of the park apart from him? At the same time, when you when you, bring, him, when you bring him off the bench, when you bring him off the bench, you either change your system. I'm not, I know, even even based on today, are we ruling out Hughes then? I think now, I think now we are because I'm, I'm playing. Now we are. I'm, I'm playing. I'm playing. But then I would the debate: is Hughes that much worse than Lokonga and Amada? Yes. Here's why. Fair enough. Here's why. I'd, I'd, I'd go. I'd go Lukonga personally, based Here's on the Mac as well. One, the one big knock. No, nah, don't count. Sorry. The one big knock on Hughes is that he is not an effective and efficient passer, and we have to have that in our midfield. Then I go Lukonga. I go Lukonga myself. Lukonga. Interesting. Patrick. Lukonga and Dakore. Right, right now, Lukonga has to be the one because he got the experience. He's played in the Premier League before. Mm-hmm. At some point, it will be. I mean, lukonga has gone or whatever. But it's right now, if I was picking a side right now, Lukonga gives me a better options because of his, you know, slightly better experiences than Hamada has had so far. But yeah. yeah. In terms of any incomings, we're not too sure if there'll be any incomings. There's only like 40 minutes left, so we'll see. But it's, it's unlikely at this point. Um, I'll be very surprised if there was an incoming at, the, at this stage. Um, but yeah. Um, <coughs> so yeah, Luk- so we're gonna we all agree on Lukonga, right? Um, yeah, I'm down. Martin, who's Lukonga, Luke and Gyro. I don't know. There's, there's different Luke. options out there, but for me, yeah, we'll go with we'll go with Lukonga. So that means Hamada doesn't play then. Is that what we're saying? No, he can, he can gradually right get away. into the squad. He's, he's gonna gonna gradually. Play. He's not going to play, but not right away. Okay. So what, Eze as a number 10? Yes. Yes. Eze for sure. Conor Gallagher. Uh, so what happens with Jordan Ayew? <laughs> what? Excuse me? Come again? I don't even know who that is, bro. No, Say, but say again? You're not saying this, but... We I who? Andre or Jordan. Who? <laughs> Andre or Jordan. But Vieira Which one? Play, so what are we saying... This isn't Vieira squad. This is our nah, this is our team, this bro. Our like, squad. I said our. This is our team. Because <laughs> right Vieira's now, if this, was, if this is Vieira's team, right? You're gonna have you're gonna have Klein at right back, and you're gonna have, you're gonna have Shlup next to the Corey. So let's move it along. That's what's gonna happen yeah. Saturday. So this is our team, dude. This Hope is not what Vieira's gonna pick. <laughs> It's just not going to be real. I'm going to try to bring on um, an Arsenal fan uh, to talk about Lukonga in a bit more detail so we can get a whole player profile. Yeah, Patrick's nephew. I'm, I'm going to try to Which, do which Arsenal fan? Not my nephew. <laughs> which one? We need Patrick's which one? nephew. I don't know, bro. There's so many. I don't know. I don't know. Up here. We'll just we'll try to get one <laughs> that, on. That's the concern. Yeah, we'll about well, about well, we don't want to get, buy this one. <laughs> get Turkish on. Right? Turkish we wouldn't know. Turkish, um, uh, Turkish is going. He's had. Um, I think um, his nan passed away. Um, so he's, oh, okay. He's, he's, I have. Uh, I have someone. I have someone who, if you want. Turkish, man. D, I have yeah. someone if you want. Let me know. Yeah. He got his nephew, bro. Oh, he's got some. I don't know about not my nephew. Yeah, Patrick, not, not my if nephew. it's a guy I'm thinking about, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. About you have that. no idea what I'm talking about. But if, this kid has a YouTube channel and he knows a lot about Arsenal. He's a big Arsenal fan. Okay. It's not. No, no, it's we'll not try to bring someone on, and we'll try to bring someone on for Hamada as well to get a whole pro- player profile. But boy, there's so many videos that we could potentially do. But anyways, let's continue with this. Um, as a number ten, but mm-hmm. so what? We're saying Ayu drops out. Yes. Yep. And it's not even close. Not as close as you think it is. The fact that you type that A is disrespectful. <laughs> so if, if I drops out, so at least it starts down the right hand side, right? What facts? That beautiful French prince. Yes, please. And and I'm and I'm hearing are you at right back? There's shouts for that. I'm sorry, who at right back? Is there some kind of new IU I don't know about? I don't I don't I don't, I don't, I don't I've not I seen. Don't okay, at least say at right. Uh, so we'll put at least on the right side. On the left, Wilf. Yeah, Uncle Wilf. 
obviously this is the uninjured uh 11 because yeah proper wolf wolf and up front hamada mateta I'm joking. Up front, so Mateta, come on, let's be serious now, man. Please. What Mateta, that French you... forward, Edward? Is <laughs> it Edward? Are we all green on Edward? That nah, is Edward. It is Edward. It is Edward. I bet some people want Mateta. So let me before I'm I trolling. It's Edward. It's Edward. It's deep Eddie. Deep Eddie. So, well, now get, go get Gordon, Gordon back. Go get yeah. Gordon back. Someone said Connor Wood. Peppering in goals. Dang. Yeah, bro, it's peppering in goals. Uh, yeah, Edward up or top. Plunge. You go plunge. Plunge up front. Yeah, well, is that Lincoln? So we can't. Yeah. yeah. So where's yeah. Lincoln? You've won. So when you look at this lineup or team, I mean, t- technically there's two changes there, or maybe or three, depending on how you look at it. I mean, Richards, when everyone's fit, goes out right back. I think we improved there naturally. Lokonga, of course, helps in midfield. I think Lokonga is an upgrade to Jeffrey Schlapp. I don't care what anyone says. Big upgrade. Mm-hmm. Um, and an upgrade to Will Hughes as well. I think he will get into the starting lineup and will be a very solid player for us. So I think we've improved the midfield as it is. That you know what excites me the most when I look at this is the fact that next to Decore, we might have another capable midfielder. Mm-hmm. And like that, we might hit two birds with one stone. You, you yes, you signed a better midfielder, but because you give help to Decore and he might not have as many responsibilities, I think Decore's game can improve as well. Mm-hmm. Um, it's more balanced. It's more balanced. He gets more freedom. He has he has less he has less pressure too. Yeah, I, I, look, honestly, in terms of one signing or two signings, I think it, it it solves a lot of a lot of different problems. Ebbs as number ten, I like that because I feel like he's a number ten. He for me, he's not a wide player. You can play a hammer. You can play. You can play a hammer there too. I was just thinking that actually the exact same thing you just said to you because let's say. As a kind of fools, I know he's had. I think he was unfairly dug out for a past couple of games. But if he does have those games where he does fall off, well, if he just you can't be he he Yeah, and now you give don't him have something to worry about. You gotta give something to bring, at least say inside. You gotta give players pressure, and you gotta give him something to look over their shoulder and worry about. Yeah, because I mean, the thing is, Elise can play that ten role, but it, Man. it changes his game so much. You know what I'm saying, like. The, I think the beauty and the danger of his game is him playing on that wide, playing wide. You know what I'm saying? So at least, yeah, like with 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 that option, you can bring somebody in for Eze if he needs that sub. But you still have a player that is is uh, a good enough attacking in the middle, good enough passer that you can keep Elise on the outside. Yeah, should we do um, should we do squad depth as well? So should we do like a second, sure, second eleven? Why not? Yeah, let's let's do that so, to see exactly. Then like that, it'll be better to see exactly who we think is second option in certain positions as well, which will be interesting. Especially Shit, I actually got a hot off of here, man. But uh, yeah. right, cool, but appreciate it, fellas. Great show. So, thank you for uh, coming on. Thank you for coming absolutely. on. We'll, we'll talk tomorrow, anyways, uh, in the match preview. Uh, but yeah, hopefully, man. hopefully we'll we'll get one more in before it's all said and done. Exactly. We've got half an hour left. Uh, we'll still be here. Half an hour left till the window shuts. Um, but yeah, right now, as it stands, it doesn't seem like we're going to bring in anyone else, but we'll still be here anyways, um, talking about it. But look, T, appreciate you coming on, bro. All right, take it easy, T. All right, fellas, take it easy. All right, cool. AJ, it's me, you, uh, until Patrick comes back. All right, let's go. All right, cool. So let's start up. uh, So shall I I open a new tab and we can look at... Yeah, go for a new tab. Let me think of all that's left in the squad. Okay, let me stop sharing. Yeah, I'm gonna open a new tab and then we can we're gonna build this is gonna be our squad depth. Let's see. So we talked about starting 11. I'll show you guys once again. Uh, I'm gonna start sharing it. I'll go 4231 again, yeah. Yeah, go for it. 4231. Uh this this is gonna be interesting. Okay, I'm gonna share the screen now. So let's talk about this. Um, let's talk about the the depth options. Uh, duh, duh, duh. Okay, let's share the screen. Okay, hold up. So can you see this? Yep, perfect. So that's the first eleven, right? You can see that we yep. read. On. And can you see the second eleven now? Oh, no, nah, same, same screen. Same screen. screen. Okay, cool. I'm gonna try to switch that over right now. But for you guys. Um, 
Let's um, send us your second eleven as well in terms of goalkeeper. Let's start off with goalkeeper. Van Arno is going to PSV. You know, funny thing is, before we talk about second eleven, I'm surprised that people haven't talked about PVA um, being a decent option under Vieira, especially with the attacking fullbacks. I'm surprised to this day that <coughs> there's been any barely. But any he mention. was the problem was when he was here, he was so bad defensively because attacking wise. He, that's why a lot of people was essentially talking about him playing almost like a left winger or a left attacker because coming forward, he was brilliant like for us, but he used to get caught out of like so he used to just get caught out so much from a defensive perspective. Oh yeah, that's a clean pallet, that one. That one, yeah. So, I, you know, that's uh, the reason why I'm not sold on it, to be fair. As an attacking fullback, if, depending on what kind of formation, if we were doing like a five at the back sort of scenario, PVA makes sense, but actually... He's dated, man. Like, defensively, he used to just get caught out so many times. And our defensive line used to get exposed because he'd always get exposed by whoever was on the right wing of whichever opposing team. Yeah. Um, they are afraid to bring me in on this video for fear of me being miserable. Heskiv, you're welcome anytime, bro. You're welcome anytime <laughs> to come on. All right, should we do our second 11 to look at our depth? So, a uh, goalkeeper, Johnston? Can we? I think we can. For sure. That. Um, right back. So if Richard is starting, Klein? Klein. Klein all day. Now, hmm. Centre-back so one. All right. Well, let's be... Uh, no, actually, you got to be realistic. <sighs> Tompkins. I mean, yeah. How do we do... Uh, set, if, if, if Richard is starting right back... Well, if Richard is starting, it's Tompkins. You, you Unless we cheat and say Richard. Yeah. I mean, someone said well, Joe Ward as well. You can potentially put Joe Ward. There. We're not doing that. You know, so Rich is actually, a new I mean, No, because I'm going to go Ward left back. Oh, uh, well, Adam Rola, left back, no? I don't know, man. I don't know what kind of version of him we've over, got over, now. Over I, don't, Joe I think that Coventry thing messed him up. I think that Coventry loan's kind of really done him over because he's back in the, the youth team and I don't even know if he's even training with the first team anymore. Yeah, it's a shout. Been that great for youth as well. Yeah, I think he's just like had Garrett that kind of. Well. You need the it reset. It's harder for the for the second. So if you go Richard centre back, a second option strike, um, centre half, and he's starting as a right back in our first team, he goes next Richards. I think realistically, when Ferguson is fit, it'll be Ferguson for me. I, Ferguson over Tompkins, I'll still do that. All right, go for it then if you want. But is that realistic though? I mean, the problem is, man, I I just don't know what kind of form or vision or version we've got. Or Bo mean, Boma. I'll go Kofi. Boma? You want to go there? Yeah, I'll go Boma. Okay, I've got go that go much Boma. faith in him. Until, even again, until, so, until, until Ferguson, until we see a bit more Ferguson anyways. And then left back, this is hard. So you could go Adam Rola, Gyro. Um, Adam Rola, Gyro, Jeffrey Schlupp at left back. No, I would. I still got Ward, you know. What was that? It's not the best choice, but actually, over the Richards and Klein scenario, Ward still got the experience. As you know, he get caught out. Do you know what? Go gyro. Oh. I'm not I think I go... Ward left back. Come on. I go gyro. I go gyro. I go gyro. Yeah, for sure. Why not Adam Rola? So what is it? Are we, are I'm we just worried about, about him, man. I feel what like he's just lost it. We're kind of he is just... Ever since he's come back from Coventry, he just looks like he's fallen off that cliff, man. Hmm. Uh, do you I hope he comes back from it. Think it's, just, it's just a form thing for him right now. Yeah, I mean, if we're talking about... If I if we're talking about Ty, Teo, end of last season, making the FA Cup cameo, nearly scoring, bombing forward, excitable, then yeah... But, I mean, I've seen him in a couple, like, highlights of the youth teams, and he's just lo he's lost it recently. I don't know what's going on with him. Yeah. He's it's a bit hard for me to kind of put, fling my hat on that. Whereas, he, at least with Ward, I've got the experience and I've got the leadership on the pitch. Yeah. It's not my, my favourite choice, but if we're talking about a squad depth and my best option in terms of what I've got left over... Dude, that's a fair point. If you're OK to play Barmer, then you can play Teo. Is that a fair yeah, comment? Yeah, that's, that's, that's a fair comment. No, no, agreed. No, that's yeah. fair. 
I think it's going to be hard. If you guys pick um, left back, I mean, I've seen Ward. I, I'm going to see what you guys say. The point, we are struggling with so much depth at left back. That That's how mad it is. There are players that no, can I play. Think, there. I think I realistic. The second option, left back, for me, I know right now you're saying Adam Rola ain't playing that great. But for me, it would still be Adam Rola. As if we're talking about second option left back, it should be our it should be our next upcoming left back, Adam Rola. All right, let's Jarrett save, right? Left back. All right, right so left back. Joe Wood and left back. But then based on that, D, imagine two days before Brighton, Mitchell's injured again and Jairo's unavailable and Schlop can't play. Who are you playing left back? Tail. Mm, it's hard. You see so what I'm saying? Is, is, it's is not it a short sure thing. Getting a new left back in the summer then. Definitely. If that, that would definitely is be how have we not signed a new left back or right back this window? I feel like we can hold out because we've got stop gaps. Like we've got players that can kind of just accommodate there on a, on two, three games. But long term, we need a solution. And I don't know if, fun enough, even contradicting my own point, we do put the faith in tail through you know the summer preseason, see what he's doing around the first team. And then we just risk it and then see where he's at, where he's at, or we kind of just convert to putting Schlock or <sighs> oh, man, it's a hard one. Maybe Schlock, you know. I think I've changed my mind we're about gonna, ten we're times. We're gonna pick at this rate. Every five seconds, every every ten seconds. I keep changing change my it. mind. Let's... No, Schlock. And it's only because Schlock's solid and he can progress forward. And you know what? On the overlap, he would be better than the other two options. Yeah, but I'm just I'm worried about his defense. I don't know. All right. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. There's no there's no there's no good answers here. Yeah, exactly. There isn't. Well, the, you can make an argument that we need a new left back in in some of them. Yeah, for uh, sure, for sure. A new right back as well. Funny enough, right back was easier to pick, whereas left back is harder because our second option left back seemed like we don't have much faith in him. You know. Um, yeah, it's a bit wild. That's that's the problem. But let's go with so what we're going with Sheffield Schlub. Jared. No, yeah. All right. Schlub, we'll go. I put we'll Schlub go and then I put question mark. Like genuinely, like <laughs> could, that's I don't think up. no one's gonna I don't think we're gonna come to an agreement here in terms of um <sighs> to be. It's the what is the letter of the Eagles? So this is interesting. So let's say we take Lokonga and the core out of there. Who would be so... your this? Amada and Ahmad is not holding midfielder though. All right, no, sorry, I got He's that wrong. Luca, eight. I'd go Luca and Hughes, you know. Hughes and Luca. Yeah. How about Gyro? Well, second. I really think that he, mm. he hasn't really played in midfield. Gyro's another one that I'm a bit like. If, if he's had three managers, bro, and not well, four managers, and none of them, well, barring the one guy that brought him in, nobody seems to rate it. Yeah. But Jarrell's that weird kind of player. He'll just like get two, three games in a row and then he'll just bang some like 30 yard winner. Like, and then everyone starts going crazy, get excited. And then he just disappears again. There's got to be something to that, man. I can't lie. Our second team, though, in terms of comparing to the first 11, I think our second team makes more sense if we play 4 3 3. Because Hamada really ain't a number 10. You can probably play there, but it's more of a number eight. So it makes more of a sense if. if, if so then, was... yeah, Hamada would have to take, yeah, the 10. And then. It'd have to be IU on the oh, right. On the right yeah, it is, it is what it is. Mateta up front. Um, Mateta up front. And then who have we got for wingers left? And then on the left, boy, you can go with either Edward. That's pretty much it. Unless. I guess unless it would have to be Edward, there. to be fair. Huh? And it'd have to be Edward. Oh, unless obviously... wait, we're forgetting about Maka, though. We're forgetting about Maka. Do you reckon Amada could do the wing? I don't know. Or am I being ambitious? I haven't seen, I haven't seen enough of him to see if he can actually do the wing, innit? I'm not, I'm not... I feel like really... he's, he looks like he's got the legs on him. I don't know. But right, right, saying now, he can't look, 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 right now, we'll just pretend he can't do the wing because, yeah, he doesn't... All right, so... No, I don't even know what version of Mako we're getting either. Because even when you lot just pointed out, like he's not played since the last game of last season. So, are uh, you uh, right? Well, Ibu is not here right now, is he? So, actually, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll tell you what we do. You put look on the left, and you put Jai right left back. That's it. Now, now when you look at areas we need to strengthen, I mean, well, it's building blocks, bro. It's huh? building blocks. It's building blocks because. Exactly. 
we're getting there and we're getting there slowly. We now got a big, we got, we got, we're bossing in certain areas of the pitch, but we're obviously slowly building. And I think it all started from Vieira's first summer. And if you do believe in Vieira and you believe in the project that we are slowly building, because remember, our Crystal Palace are built conservatively. Like we're not a club that's going to go out and buy 11 players and spend the 300 million pounds. It's just never going to happen. It's just not who we are. We are conservatively built team so it's like slow building blocks we get rid of dead wood and we bring in another you get the odd cell there here and there and then you constantly build out of that 11 that we've picked second wise you are in a position where you can maybe sell a few of those maybe loan them off when they run out of contract get rid and then bring in the next we'll probably get what two decent players from the championship one player from france maybe another player from germany nobody's heard of that's kind of our thing and that's our system yeah, and I think I think when you look at the starting eleven that we kind of done, starting eleven is strong, is strong. It's Maybe better. It's way, way front, superior. I mean, if you're looking at position to strengthen, still I'll, I'll bring in a right back because Richards ain't a right back, even though he can play a role there. I mean, the starting eleven can win games, man. It's got I can see creativity there. I can see balance mm-hmm. midfield with Lukonga and Dukore playing alongside each other. I can see. If Mitchell returns his old form, I can see overlaps from Mitchell to to Wilf. Like I, I can see this team and Edward when he's on form, he can also score goals and scored a few goals so far this season. So this team ain't too bad. But then when you look at the second um eleven, there is something. But then remember, big- the thing is, you know Vieira is going to have his favourites, and we're, we're fully aware that it does frustrate us sometimes. So you know for a fact, even the best eleven we picked, he's not picking that team, like. There's going to be the IU, there's going to be the Schlock, there's going to be the odd ward and wind-ups that he's going to pick. Like, So maybe we kind of just have to resign ourselves to the fact that that's just going to be part of the process until he eventually gets there. Yeah. Uh, it looked like he finally got it right against United, but boy, I don't know, man. There's well, look, with two games unbeaten, like, let's not forget about that. Two games unbeaten against United, Newcastle, we've got Man United again, but we've got we got a bit of momentum. Like it's it's been it's been a long time coming, but we he kind of changed up. We went a bit more defensive, and and he did and he did work for us because we focused more on the defensive side of things than attacking. And you know against these tough opponents, we managed to give a clean sheet against Newcastle. Um, point against Man United. Well, no point. Yeah, point. Um, managed to get something against Man United. Um, all around it was positive. It's a positive, and we've got Man United once again. But yeah, when you look at the starting, t- like, I mean, Luke will be gone next season. I think yeah, Jared will so. definitely be gone next season as well. So, look, we we do, as you said, maybe not as much as sign 11. If you keep Wilf as well, when you look at sign 11, if you keep Wilf as well, I think this 11 is very good. Well, not very good. It's, 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 it's solid. Maybe another starting striker to challenge Edward. Have Edward a second option. That'd be very good. Imagine having Edward coming off the bench and there's a better striker than Edward. Um, and the well, right miss, back, Mr. Park, Mr. Park into the back of the net. Ball to feet, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then now I'm playing, then, I'm playing, I'm playing. Well, I'm actually not playing. That was more of a backhand comment towards Edward, man. But oh, I don't know, man. And then I'm just hoping Vieira cooks. That's all I'm hoping. Are you? Are you a decent squad player? Like, I use these, uh, you got uh, Bournemouth that's um, coming out from the academy. Potentially, you got. Present, we can swap Adam Roller for Gyro. We still need to make some squad. I think it's a combination in the summer um, as, as it goes last 15 minutes of the window and we're not going to sign anyone else, I don't think, at this stage. I think it's a combination of both signing some one or two starting 11 players. I think a striker and a right back, um, especially... I, I, by the way, I'm considering that maybe we sign Lokonga as well. If we sign Lokonga, maybe another striker right back. And it's just depth. He just jet- yeah, I, I, I can picture if it goes well for Lukonga, I can picture him staying because they already Arsenal obviously got just brought in Jorginho. He's a proven winner. I'll say what you want about the guy, whether you rate him or not, that's a different conversation. But the man is a proven winner. Like he's won big boy trophies out here. On top of that, apparently they're chasing Kassad Kansal Kansaisa. Can't remember how you pronounce it in yeah. the summer or Declan Rice. And if they win the league and they're going to be in Europe. He's not getting back into that team anytime soon. Yeah. It's going to be hard regardless because they're, they're definitely buying another midfielder. And they've got Jorginho as well for 18 months. So I just... Yeah, it's I, I don't know, man. But I don't know. Maybe he's got the the, the Gallagher mentality like where he thinks he's going to like make it at Arsenal. You just don't know, man. 
That's the thing. Like these players, man, they get their head filled with stuff. They've been in these clubs for a certain amount of time. Managers offer them promises. Their agents get sucked into it as well. That's the thing. You don't know. Because it looked like at one point Gallagher was on the way. Like, and even now, I was a bit like, oh, I don't know, man. Another loan for six months. So, so now that we got about what, let's say, fifteen minutes till the window closes, let's get some thoughts about this window in general. So, as I said, let's try to think about it in a way. Um, that isn't so Patrick's here as well. Let's try to think about in a way. So yeah, Patrick, let's show our our second team. What do you think about the team? So we made a starting eleven and a, and a second team as well. Um, so we're looking it. at squad depth, and I, we I kind of it. came to an agreement that. Uh, let me share the screen. Um, we can't kind of came to an agreement that it's weak. We need some quality first team players, maybe a striker and a right back. Um, right. When you cut it and and depth signings in the summer. Um, this is the second team. I don't know what you think about it. Can you see them? Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Can you see the players? Yeah, I mean, I I, I listened to you in the car. Um, it's just very, it's just, it's light. I mean, we need a left back, obviously. So I heard the talk about Teo. He's not ready yet. We need a right back, obviously. Um, Luca Hughes. I mean, Hughes. I would keep next season. I wouldn't keep Luca around. Um, well, look, when you're looking at that, I mean, right I use back. a good squad player. I agree with the squad squad player. He's a good squad player. So. It's really honestly. It's honestly, if we get if we get a left back and a left whatever left, what do you want to call it? So when you look at playing? so when you look at both squads, left attacker. Eleven wise, we need a new starting right back. And when you get a new starting right, right back and you, and you have the final client second option, I don't think that's bad as a second. That's option. fine. I agree. Um, when you look at starting eleven, we can definitely. I don't think we need a starting eleven type of left back. I mean, probably asking an awful lot, but I think we need a stri- potentially another striker. Um, and this is considering that Will yes. stays at the club. Another striker. I think Edward as a second option with a striker that's better than him helps us much further. And then after that, when you look at the second team, it's just it's just basically building on that. It's just depth. I think Mateta, we have to slowly move on from him. Um, right. That doesn't help. Plan, that's fine as second option. Um, left back as a, bringing another left back for squad um, for squad depth option rather than starting eleven. Who's you can be a decent second option coming off the bench. Uh, Luca, I assume he's going to go. So if Luca was to go, what we need another midfielder. Then again, if you sign Lukonga, and if he does play football for us, then you could have potentially, you know, Lukonga there as an option I have as well. A, but I have we a question. We need another midfielder. We probably need a one, one or two more it, midfielders. Is this, well. is this this is for next season? You're saying, right? Yeah, kind of considering this season and next season as well. well. I'm then, gonna, yeah. then I'm going to add. Phase. I'm going to add two loan players that we could put in there for left and right. You could put Ebioe on the on the right and you could put Plange on the left because Plange plays outside and left. So you can put those two. Yeah, there. actually, that's a... Uh, that's fair. That's fair. Ebioe, I, I definitely get play there. Yeah. He's playing there. Yeah. What were we saying? Ebioe over X. I don't know if he's if he's got... um If he's ready for that step up yet. No, I said on the left. Put him where Schlupp is. He plays off the left. He can put Plange off okay. the left. Yeah, potentially. And but then, then again, I think we need better. But then what are we saying? Ratsaki over Abue? Are we going with Ratsaki on the right then? Yeah. I'm going. I'm on. You know, it depends how they do second. I, I want to see both of them in that in the same division how they do because I know Ratsaki's played, played great for a chart, but I want to see how how um Abue does at Hull. They're in the same division now, right? <laughs> so let's see how they both do. And then what you do then? D you put uh, Amada back at, in Luca's position and put Ayu in, in, in that position behind uh, Mateta. Do you know what I mean? Where where did Hamada go? Where Luca is. Oh, okay. But he's not really a six, though, is he? We know that he struggles then, defensively. Then, then, then flip him, then. He, he, can play, he can play next to Hughes, for sure. Whether he plays the left side or the right. He can play next to Hughes, for sure. He definitely he can. He can play like a number eight and then put Ayu there. 100% he can. And then put Ayu there. Now, look at that now. What do you think about that? Look at that. It's still it's terrible. Not nice, right? it's, not... it's better, it's better it's than what terrible. you guys had. You had, you had three guys out of position. Now you've got who's our position now, honestly. Maybe are you? Are you who yeah. else? And 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 Plunge. Gyro. Plunge. Plunge played he, if you remember the preseason, he played that. He yeah, played he, does, he does kind of play left he as played, and the striker. Yeah, he's be both. a striker. He played, I'm telling you, he's got a little bit of pace about him as well. And he's and, he's got and, and he can score him. and he can score a little bit. Yeah, I'm telling you, that's where Plunge plays. I'm telling you, off the left. Mm. Look, let's that's, talk that's, about the minutes left. Great, um, we're going to wrap this up um, relatively soon. Let's talk about this window. Um, I might make another video about it anyways, but let's talk about it here. So, two players confirmed, one on loan, one permanent, uh, two midfielders. 
So, what are we rating out of 10? I'll start off with you, AJ. Good question. Oh, I would go... I'm actually, do you know what? The, the players excite me, but if I'm being brutally honest, maybe a 6.5. Possibly a 7, if I'm being nice. I still think there's obviously gaps in the squad. I think we've had a whole month to get things done. Obviously, you know, from a journalistic point of view, it hasn't looked good from the club in terms of whatever's going on from boardroom level. I don't I don't think that should have been leaked, you know, because that just sent player fans into a meltdown. We could have got both of those players wrapped up from early in the window, let's be honest. Um which could have meant that me could have spent this last day probably getting a few more other players over the line, i.e. figuring out what we were going to do about the right-back scenario and maybe getting another strike or maybe concentrating on a Semenyo or something like that, perhaps. Um, and obviously, Will's been out for a few weeks as well. So let's be honest, we could have used our common sense. We had this whole weekend that just passed and we didn't do anything. We weren't playing. Well, we tried to, well, we like we tried to go for Elanga, um, which didn't work out in the end. But then I'd argue... With the Elanga scenario, at what point did we get interested in that? Because apparently he rejected three clubs today alone. So, mm. yeah, yeah, I'd give it a six, six point five ish out of ten. That'd be that would uh, probably be me if I'm being brutally honest. Patrick, uh, do you agree with AJ's rating? Would he give any lower, any higher? Okay, so this this is the thing. Before I get to the actual rating, um, I always find that I know perhaps leave it late. But I think what happens is you got to wait for the dominoes to fall. So I don't think we're going to get, we would have gotten Lukonga had a couple of things happen. If they, El Neni hadn't got injured recently and then, and then um, they had bought in, they had bought in Jorginho, he wouldn't have been available. So I would say that Lukonga couldn't have done, been done before today. I would, I would agree with AJ. Ahama that could have been done a week ago because, you know, we looked at him a week ago, but maybe Sukar wanted to keep him, you know, blah, 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 maybe negotiation. So from that standpoint, I understand what he's saying. I'd give it a 6.5 also, maybe a 6, because I still think the right back position had to be addressed and it wasn't. The only reason I'm going to say I might give us a pass on the right back is if Ferguson is fit. That's a massive, massive if. It really is. Then, remember, we, we, bought, we bought Ferguson to replace Juan Basaka. People forget that. It was three, three years ago, but we bought him to replace Juan Basaka. It never worked out. It has, the kid's just been injured left, right, and center. If he if he fit and I did see him training, then maybe that's why we haven't bought the right back. Saying to ourselves, we've got Klein, we've got Ward, and we've got Ferguson. We can ease Ferguson back in maybe the last ten matches of the season, and then the window is a little bit better. But even then, I would say it's a massive. I would much rather have gotten the right back for the future. So I would say like AJ six six and a half at, at best for this window. But again, what, what I think people are missing maybe is that having those two midfielders frees up the Corey big time now. He's going to have to work a lot less, and that makes him a different player. So our midfield just got a lot better because as much as I like Hughes, and I would discuss it with D all the time, I'm not sure who's ever going to be the answer. Yeah, yeah. I do think Lakonga or Ahamada can be the answer because they're just, they're, just, they're, just they're just more versatile. They're versatile. They, they've got more legs about them. They can press. They play at a different level, especially if mean, Lakonga was playing with Arsenal. What do you want to say? Hughes couldn't play for Arsenal. Do you know what I mean? Could never, you know what I'm saying? So the levels were higher, train levels, etc. younger than he is by about three, four years. So I think the midfield's got better. The Corey's now got player next to him that can, that can actually play with him, get the ball off of him, make a decent pass, cover for him, etc. So, I mean, midfield-wise, we're much better off. Get Schlepp out of there at some point, move him up the pitch. So, but I mean, the right back to me is still a, still a pretty big issue. And a striker, if God forbid something happens to Mateta or Edward, more Edward, obviously. But I think the window is about 6.5 for me. Yeah, I probably agree. Um, 6.56. Look, as much as I wanted a new a, a, a right back, I said, look, they managed to get midfielder. And, and that's the one thing I was saying all along. I said it as well. In the summer window, we didn't get midfielder, but I said that they've had the summer till now. I know we left it late, but they had the right. summer till now to get in a replacement. And they, they, find, they, they, find, they found someone else. It wasn't Conor right. Gallagher. They found Hamada. Um, of course, we're going to see how good he is, but they managed to get that position. So that was the position that I was most um, concerned about in a way. But then again, we didn't get it right back. But in all honesty, we're at the League Cup. We're at the FA Cup. Yeah. I don't think um, we're going to push for 
European spots because of because of how we start the season. I mean, it's not off. It's not completely off. I mean, if you're going a crazy run, but it is a bit difficult at this stage. Um, I'll probably give it a six. We brought in or six point five. Yeah, six point five. We brought in two midfielders. We only expected one. We brought in one on loan, which I think even without an option to buy, there is a chance that we could buy him if it does work out. And you know we've we've strengthened with a permanent signing in the twenty year old that that has something about his game that still has room for improvement as well. And so in 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 general, I think it wasn't a complete disaster, but we left it late. We did leave it late. We got it done, but we left it late. It's it's a risky right. game. Um, I mean, yeah, it would have been better if we got these signings a bit a bit earlier. Um, to bed them in, but. It's happened. We we managed to sort them out. As Patrick said, with Lokonga, maybe it might be difficult with him. But Hamadad, it, it was interesting because we was meant to buy him. Then Shukar said no, and then all of a sudden we had right. magically enough money to buy him. So, yeah. so with Hamadad, based on based on all the reports, it seems like we did have the money, but we're moving a bit tight, and we yeah. ended up paying That's for fair. it afterwards. Which right. which I don't know what was the reason. I don't know if it's the reason. I don't think it's just Palace sweat and meltdown. Maybe Wilf going out injured. Maybe Vieira saying enough is enough. Like we need to. Think I think. Players, I think that's it. I think the Vieira thing's a big part. I think he just said, "Listen, we only got Decore in the summer. We lost. We lost uh, Kiate. We lost Gallagher." And I also think, honestly, I I just mentioned his name. Let's be honest. That was that was still in the backdrop up even up to today was Gallagher. And you keep saying mm. it, D. And people, it, it was even today they mentioned it. You know, Gallagher, Gallagher, Gallagher. So that was always in the backdrop of him maybe coming back. That's probably why they didn't want to. Maybe spend the money on on Ahmed. I think if you get Gallagher back, and that probably spoils most. Uh, spo- definitely spoils the last window. We talked about that before. How we waited away for Gallagher and it didn't happen. Now again, we almost did it again. But this time he's got two midfielders in. So for me, I'm happy because to wait for Gallagher again, wait for Enzo's deal to be done. Oh yeah, you can have Gallagher and then not getting him would have been a disaster two times in a row. So I'm I'm happy we got the two players, man. And let's just move on from there. You know and, I mean? and look, this comment is true. The two new players look good, look looking more like a solid team. Yeah. We have improved. We have improved the squad 100% with uh, Hamada and Lukonga. And we've improved with quality, we've improved with depth. We've also improved with potential as well. Um, so there have been improvements um, at the end of the day. But look, there's still there's still more to go. It's, it's As I said, 6.5 is, is it's not an amazing window, not a bad window. There's still something to build upon this window. Um, but yeah, I think the midfield is the most important area for us, anyways, in Vieira's system, especially with possession football. I think sometimes we don't underestimate, but sometimes I don't think we realize how important it is that the fact that we started a midfielder for the majority of the season who's not a midfielder, we yeah. need a midfielder who can run with the ball, who's, who's solid on the ball, and we miss that. And, and, and when you're playing possession football and when you're trying to do high pressing, you need you you need if if you don't have the right midfielders, the whole system's going to collapse. Because who's going to pick the ball up from defence to push it forward? It can't just be Ducore. It's going to be easy for teams to mark him out. So we've improved in one of the most important areas of the pitch in terms of real style of football. And for that, I'm not too upset. But look, this is a building block. I'm expecting... If if you're talking about net spend, uh, we spent 10.5 million here. Um, I think we'll join or bottom third in the, on the whole of Premier League in terms of net spend. I don't think that's increased as much after Hamada. So look, we still we still have opportunity to spend in the summer. We haven't spent that much in the whole in this whole season. Um but we have signed some good players. So hopefully we'll build on it. Um but look um we'll see we'll see what happens as they play as well. I think it'll give us a bit insight in terms of how good some of these players can be. Two minutes left to the window <laughs> window shots. Any any last minute signings? <laughs> I'm just looking at the web. I'm looking at the Twitter page now, just in case there's some last minute. I don't know. Nah, there won't be no last minute. It's some kind of mad last minute, minute like don't go to bed up. yet kind of vibes. <laughs> yeah, we're going to wrap this up. But thanks to everyone who's joined us live. Uh, some people stay for three hours, some people half an hour, two hours. For... But look, thanks to everyone. Um, I'll be honest, we didn't, we didn't do much preparation, but we still managed to speak about it <laughs> for three hours. But uh, look, thanks to everyone who's joined us Um why hundreds of a second on Sky Countdown Clock? No clue. <laughs> um, but look, thanks to everyone who's joined us live. Thanks to Patrick, um, AJT as well, and everyone who's liked, subscribed, and commented. If you have enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. We're only about 18 away. How many subscribers away from 3,000? So not that many away. About, yeah, about 
12, uh, yeah, 18 away. I think it's 18 away or something like that. I'm so tight. Um, from from 2K, um, from 3,000 subscribers. So that'd be that'd be that'd be great. Um, it's, a little, it's officially 11 o'clock. Window is shut. The window's closed. But the clubs can still complete moves uh, if they're submitted. I think before 11. That's what the Premier League tweeted um, as well. But I doubt it's, it's a deal a sheet, isn't it? As long as they submit a deal sheet by before 11, yeah, isn't it? That's not going to be anyone for us, is there? Realistically, um, I think that's it. Unless they're 18 year old or whatever. But yeah, I don't think anyone's that that um, fussed about it. But look, we'll be back for the match preview and more Palace content throughout the week. So make sure to stay tuned into Back of the Nest. That's it from me, AJ, and Patrick. And until next time. Up the palace.